Hello Twitch and YouTube. We are back with Harambe Kong Country 2. We just had an issue with the previous attempt at this. And so now we are going to have at again. The issue before was that whenever on the particular version of the game we were playing, whenever we would open an Animal Buddy crate, it wouldn't open. So the plot of this game, and I'm going to repeat a lot of things I said in the previous stream, so chat please bear with me is that following the events of Harambe Kong Country, Harambe and Diddy Harambe both stole K. Rool's ship after defeating him and took it off in search of K. Rool's home to get revenge. In doing so, however, Harambe was captured and K. Rool threatened to place him in a zoo. Now tonight we are going to be doing the 102% category uh, which means all creme coins and all DK coins. I think it's 102%. And then hopefully I will be able to remember where everything is. Now the moment of truth, everyone. Let's cross our fingers. Perfect. See, before it wouldn't actually open the crate. It would just be repeatedly bouncing off the crate if I wanted to sit there. And thank you, Sky, for that fix to solve this issue. Now, I'm not quite so pro enough as to be able to charge through this bonus stage. So we handle it the old-fashioned way. Hopping from enemy to enemy with Rambi, who is very upset that Harambe has been captured. Harambe is, after all, the king of the jungle. Yes, thank you again, Sky. Now, of course, Diddy Harambe loves to jam out to music. And unfortunately now, some of the jokes and comments we've had on the stream previously are not here, so some of them will get repeated, so I apologize for the forced nature of those repeats. How do I select to switch Kongs? Okay. So we were talking a moment ago about Harambe's favorite celebrity. Now, of course, there are several celebrity band, several bands that Harambe loved. He enjoys the gorillas, he enjoys the monkeys, and he enjoys others that have named themselves after his great species. But most of all, he loves the king of pop himself, Michael Jackson. Because of Michael Jackson's friend Bubbles. And as I had mentioned before, I can't just jump off this. It's good to know. There have been rumors that Michael Jackson's song... I was able to jump off at that time. Song Billie Jean was based on one of Harambe's relationships. Unfortunately, with both the King of Pop and Harambe no longer with us, we may never know. Sky, that's... <laughs> so, so Sky just posted in chat one other thing Harambe had in common with Michael Jackson. Oh, I can just do this. Ooh. Never realized it before. Had in common with Michael Jackson is that they both got in very much trouble for being too close to kids. <laughs> Which is the funniest joke I've heard all day. Allegedly, of course. We don't believe either of those things are true. As we learned last night on the first Harambe Kong Country, Harambe was reminded by that child of his friend Diddy Harambe here on screen. And that was what really happened. It was not Harambe's fault. It was an easy mistake to make. Everyone agrees that child looked exactly like Diddy. That he was in fact wearing a red baseball cap. And once again, we get to watch Diddy Harambe jam out 
as he has made more progress towards finding his mentor, Harambe. Now, we're not sure how did he Harambe avoided being kidnapped like Harambe did. But what matters is that he is here, and we believe that he will save Harambe by the end of this game. And of course, this is a casual run. We're not speedrunning. We're not doing anything special. I am occasionally decent at this game, perhaps. Welcome back, game. We did, in fact, fi fact fix the problem, and we will show it off in a few levels when it comes up again. Now, with that in mind, we will eventually get to see Dixie's end-of-stage moves. For the time being, however, we are just wrecking stuff, as did Iharambe. And Sky raises a very good point in chat. True believers in Harambe, as our Lord and Savior, know, beyond the shadow of a doubt, that Harambe sacrificed himself so that Didi Harambe could escape, as any true friend would. Now, in his effort to make up for the hole in his heart, I missed the DK coin? Where was the DK coin in this level? Am I able to get it from down here? I might not be able to get it from down here. Perfect. So, as I was saying, in order to make up for his lost mentor, Didi Hurambe knew that he needed to find the closest thing that he could to replace his mentor. And so he found Dixie, his bay. Alas, Dixie is but a part in the replacement to his Haram. Now, unfortunately, Sky, I do not recall who Lord Helix is to be able to weigh in on the debate of whether Harambe or Lord Helix deserves more of our love. But the important thing to remember is, isn't there enough room in our hearts for both of them? Let's see if I actually remember how to navigate the stage this time around. This game knows what's up. I get hit while I'm on guard. That, that's, a, that's a valid criticism, Rex. There, there is a great deal of lore that I don't know. I am just here, trying to bring a small piece of my lack of knowledge to the masses. Too many people, after all, have forgotten about the sacrifice that Harambe made for all of us. And how the world has been worse ever since losing Harambe. And how the current dire circumstances of our world are a result of the loss of Harambe.
C-Rex, I missed most of Twitch Plays Pokemon. See, game, there you go. If you got to see that, we now have Ratley. Which everyone who plays this game calls him Jank, but honestly, I feel like his timing is just fine. Alas, we will never see Winky again, because Winky was not able to survive outside of his native home. And so as Harambe took that ship and crossed the ocean, he had to leave Winky behind. Yes, game. The frog was replaced with this snake. No! Really? This is fine. See, Dixie very much... Radley very much likes being ridden by Dixie. Because it makes him feel like he has hair. Which is something that he unfortunately, as a snake, does not have. There's something down here. Snakes would be absolutely terrifying if they had air. Just imagine a snake in a wig coming down at you. Out of a tree. That's how they say that Harambe and Radley met. Yes. Radley is able to Super Spring. That's just a shortcut. And this is the end. Now, earlier on stream, Jax asked, Why am I wearing such a nice outfit? Why these colors in particular? And the answer is that magenta is Harambe's favorite color. Very similar to the pink that Dixie is wearing right now. Harambe's face would light up whenever he saw this color. Oop. There's a spot underneath, right? Or is that on the next one? That's fine. Oh, we'll miss the G. And his face would light up so much, in fact, that this that whenever Candy Harambe was around, she would uh, wear this color. And Harambe preferred it more than any other. And of course, the yellow tie is in honor of all the bananas that Harambe loved. That's a good question, game. I did answer that on last stream, but we will answer it again. Now, the story of Donkey Kong is 100% true. Kong itself is a title. We have complete... Alright, good. Kong is a title. Donkey Kong was, in fact, the first gorilla to be able to choose his own name. Harambe, having earned the respect and honor of others, was also allowed to choose his name, and therefore became Harambe Kong, both having his personal name and inheriting the title of Kong. Now, Cranky Harambe, of course, was the original Kong, the one who created the title.
Now, Harambe, of course, is the only Harambe. He is not Harambe Jr. There, there is no Harambe Kong Jr. So, don't let that rumor mis confuse you. For how satisfying the sound effect on those crocodiles is. That is correct, Sky. I do not recall my Twitch Place Pokemon lore. It happens, man. It, it Sometimes we just make mistakes, you know? Gotta remember, while I've, I've had a vague awareness of what Twitch has done over the years, most of my Twitch knowledge comes from GDQ. Now, unfortunately, we no longer have Espresso with us either, as Espresso is part of a dan an endangered species. But we do have Squitter instead. And, like Espresso, Squitter is also wearing tennis shoes. They say it's extremely difficult for him to get them in his size, however. And I think what you guys are saying is that we need a uh, spark, spark bot shame emote once I hit affiliate. I remember what Twitch Plays Pokemon is. Like, I, I saw parts of it. I just didn't follow the all the memes and stuff. I remember everyone putting in the inputs. I remember that we've had a bunch of spin-offs. Like, we've had the uh, Fish Plays Pokemon. Can I not use the shoulder buttons right now? I thought I had the shoulders enabled to shoot webs. Oh, there we go. Note to self, don't rely on the shoulders for quick webs. Oh, I already just did this. It was going on during your freshman year and you nearly failed finals to watch it. Look, we all have those things that eat up all of our time. Because they're more important than whatever else is going on. Much like this coronavirus, it is more important than whatever else is going on right now. Now we should go ahead and visit Swanky Harambe, who is wearing this very tacky jacket, too much bling, and of course is wearing his famous grill. But we are not going to get suckered into playing his game show. The rumors that it is rigged are completely 100% verifiable. The one DK coin hidden inside a bonus stage. Those sneaky oop. No, no, no. We we do not use save states on this stream ever. We don't judge the scrubs who do, but we will not ourselves resort to that measure. I'll also remind you that the game show is not gambling, it's just a uh, quiz show. something over here. Maybe? Oh, the O. Cool. Yeah, this track's a banger. Like, the best part of this stream is not having to worry about filling all of the air with my voice. Oop. And we get to have moments like that, where I screw up because I was talking, instead of letting us enjoy this soundtrack. Yes, game, the barrels are back again, and they are even better than they were in the first Harambe Kong Country. 
And that is how you take out two birds with one TNT barrel. And by birds, I mean a mini Neki and a beat zinger. Now, of course, we will recall from the first Harambe Kong Country that Harambe is tragically allergic to bees. Oop, no bananas on that one. There are bananas on that one. Whatever. Diddy Harambe shares that allergy, as does Dixie. And so we may see them get defeated by bees at some point. Now, of course, these mini Neckies have their little pirate bandanas on to show their support for the pirate who kidnapped Harambe. And absolutely, Sky, the, the team-up was the best invention. Oh. Didn't quite make that jump. I also feel like we're slightly smaller on screen than we were in the original. Either that or we are much more, a little bit farther to the left. I'm not quite sure which. I'm definitely not having to make any blind jumps. Like, we haven't watched me just walk off the edge of anything yet. Which also might be the responsiveness. It's possible the engine was improved in the second game. I may not remember where all the bonus stages in Lava Lagoon are. Uh, I think that's the shortcut. Oh, the level design's fantastic in this game. Oop, that's not what I need to do. I need to go down this side. Right? No? It's just banana coins? Those are just banana coins. The great thing is that my mind remembers secrets, it just can't remember which secrets are important. First death, guys. Yes, game, that is correct. Lava Lagoon is not lava. It is, in fact, jello. Which this helpful squid comes in, or, or otter, not squid. I don't know why I said squid. Comes in and helps us out by warming the jello so that it will no longer harm us. Yes, I said, I'll, I'll seal not otter. See, so guys, this is why I need you here in chat correcting me and reminding me of things that Harambe would be ashamed, I don't know, when he spent so much of his life imprisoned, knowing the names of all his friends at the zoo. I'm getting slightly concerned about the fact that I haven't found a bonus stage yet. I feel like I missed something at the start of the level. No, 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 you were, you were right. The level becomes... We are not going to make it. See, the jello actually solidifies around Diddy Harambe and Dixie. And that is how they lose a life. It may look like they got hurt and they fell to their doom, but that's not the case. Seriously, where are the bonus stages in this level? I'm just gonna hope there's not one in the first half of the stage. Cause that's really the best I can hope for at this point. I guess we didn't actually get to the midway, so we'll find out. Why are there bananas down here if I can't actually do anything down there? That 
so confusing. Ooh, come on, guys. This is a DK coin, right? It's definitely the N. This is a bonus stage. Now, unfortunately, this bonus stage will not turn to jello on us. Okay, so we've got this one. We have. S oh, I can't go back past that? I really hope there wasn't another one right there. This is DK coin, I think? Oh, that's just the G. Go, Diddy Harambe, fast enough! Ooh, good job, buddy. Good job. That's DK coin. Oh, I just kill that guy when I do that. Yeah, we missed a bonus stage. We had to have. No, we didn't. Okay. It just wanted to confuse me. We are already 20% to completion. Now that was wrinkly, Harambe. You may not know it from looking at her. But in her youth, very similar to Candy Harambe, Wrinkly Harambe was, in fact, a dancer. She is still in great shape to this day. Now, it might seem like a volcano, the inside of a volcano is a strange place for Rambi to be, but he enjoys all caves. I also have a special love for this stage, because when I first got this game as a kid, I couldn't figure out that you just had to press forward on the balloons. It was so counterintuitive. What do you mean I didn't- I'm not running off. Really should have included like an arrow or something along with it. Let's actually go up properly. Fun fact game, the balloons... R Rambi himself actually has been on a diet since the first game. Uh, you know, the first game wasn't quite to scale properly. Harambe is actually much bigger than Diddy Harambe. Rambi had to go on a diet in order to be able to get on those balloons and not immediately weigh them down. And of course, as we well know, our friends have the ability to defy gravity on certain occasions, and they're using it here with these balloons. 
The combination of the natural science of a hot air balloon, combined with their ability to defy gravity, allows those balloons to slowly descend. Thank you, Sky, for speaking out to anyone. To anyone who is lurking and watching, you are more than welcome to join with us in chat. And if not, please hit that follow button. I am hoping to make it to affiliate within the next 12 days. Or to 50 followers at least, now that the affiliate review process take place. If you're watching this later on YouTube, the same thing applies. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You are also more than welcome to compare this run of Donkey Kong Country 2 to my previous Let's Play back in the days when we just had a webcam aimed at a television set and we had to do this old school. It's good stuff, but it's also painful to watch. Yes, game. The greatest nemesis of our animal buddies are the signs that will not let them pass. Fortunately, Harambe made a dark pact with those signs to give him bonuses whenever one of his animal buddies would cross them. Now, if I was a good player, we'd be able to just use Diddy, or Dixie, and fly through several of these sections. Alas, we are not good players. Now, Diddy, of course, wants to show off his ability at juggling. It's a skill set he learned while riding the ship to this island. Now, we haven't visited Cranky Hurambe at his museum of the ancient things, and so we are going to say hello to our old grandpappy, the original Hurambe, Cranky Hurambe. Because after his starring role in the original Hurambe Kong Country, he's very confused as to why he only has this. He's also very disappointed that we have a girl hero in this video game. Because true heroes should be muscle-bound and wield guns, like Rambo. And, and why isn't Dixie the one who was captured, instead of Harambe? Why was our hero captured? What kind of second-rate video game is this? Now, of course, we see Winky in the background. He has been taxidermied by Cranky Harambe to show his... I've missed the... Where's the DK coin? Great. We have to go back and find the DK coin, guys. I don't know where it is. Oop, that was not, that's not it. I don't know where the DK coin is. Did I open all the treasure chests? Pretty sure I did. Oops, wrong button. Yes, that whenever the balloons are getting refilled with these smoke columns, they are good to go again. Okay, Rambi didn't become the DK coin. And yes, Sky is helpfully reminding us in chat that Cranky Harambe was the hero in the original Harambe Kong game. Sadly, 
most fan, most viewers have forgotten that that game even exists. Because Harambe Kong just showed up. Cranky Harambe. So much. For our grandparents, in their day... The DK coin's on top of one of these things. I think. In our grandparents' day, they understood Cranky Harambe as the true Lord and Savior Harambe. Yeah, it's a banana. Alas, that ant has fallen into the lava, never to be seen again. Now Dixie, much like her- wait a second. I think I need that barrel, honestly, but I shouldn't need the barrel. Nope. That's what I need the barrel for. Right? There we go. As, as Sky sends that message just a second too late in chat, and I get hit by one of these crocodiles wearing a parka. Yeah, Sky, I should be able to remember where everything is. It'll just take me a little while if I miss something. Can I get an F in chat out of respect for the fact that that is the first uh, time I've just walked off a cliff in this game and died? Oh, that's the shortcut, that's not the bonus stages. That's fine. We'll just be able to start select out of the level later. Because we need to see what happened to the parrot squawk after the original Harambe Kong Country, because he did in fact, come with Harambe to this new island. So, in both this game and in the original, and I believe also in the third, the first two worlds all have shortcuts to the end of the stage. And so for any percent categories, they are able to just warp through... Well, I mean, in the original, they're able to, uh... Use a glitch to skip ahead. Past the first two worlds, pretty much. But in both games, if they're doing glitchless, there are warp barrels available. How am I going to manage all of this? I'm... need a ditty. I don't need a ditty. That was the end of that, and that was our bonus stage. Okay, good. Oop. I still don't have a ditty. That's fine. Where Diddy can't go, Dixie can. Is there a nope, okay. Let's let's go ahead and get good at these barrel shot shots. Oh, I forgot you could skip that one. Can I skip the next one, too? There we go. That's a little more impressive. And here is Squawks. Squawks has, in fact, matured and grown up during his time Oops. since the first Harambe Kong Country. Squawks is in fact now strong enough to lift more than a simple flashlight. 
he can in fact lift both Diddy and Dixie. Because Squawks followed after Rombe's example and decided to become as strong as he possibly could. Oop. Squawks has all the flight. Squawk can just fly indefinitely. And he can even cough up those eggs he launches out when he does it. He's that good. So there is a way to fight this boss on one less cycle, but I am not accustomed to actually using strats. There's some timing involved with it or something. Now Diddy Harambe will duck and hide from this floating sword. Because floating swords are terrifying. Oh, one more hit. Let's do this in a timely manner, guys. Now we move on to Creme Quay, a swamp. Well, that's, that's, that happened. All right, these are the timed ones. Game, you would be surprised at how difficult all of this is as a young child. No, Rambi! Do I need Rambi? I might need Rambi. Forget if I need Rambi. Nope, you're not the one I follow. Exactly, Mario games were quite difficult as a young child. Should I become the cannonball? Is that what I needed him for? And I think I hit the halfway at this point, right? Or are you the cannonball? You're the cannonball. So Sky, Rambi is not the DK coin, right? Like, I don't need Rambi, do I? Might as well have you here handy for reference to make sure that we don't repeat any more game than is necessary. He is in fact the DK coin, okay. We'll go back for him later. I, mean, I suppose when we got to the end of this level and I saw it, he wasn't the DK coin, I would have naturally needed to go back. Oh yeah, I forgot about the super jump. I don't remember how to actually properly execute super jump, but... Oh, That's fine. We'll go, uh, bring it... Really? You ain't coming back? That's fine. 
Well, we do that then. If I have to jump off that. My skills, they are not here. Alright, Dixie Hirombe. Let's do this. Okay, this one does not store later letters you get. smart of me. Okay, we are going to have to do this next part the tricky way. That's fine. We'll just get us an extra life, just in case we lose it. Oh, gosh. Okay, we'll go farther into the level to see where we can find... Okay! We're gonna keep scrubbing it up, guys. We're gonna keep scrubbing it up. Now, as we see, Dixie is quite good with the guitar. They say that she, in fact, went on to start her own all-girl group after this. Oh, right, that's not what I want to do. I need some Rambi. Okay, let's not play so fast and loose with Rambi against all the enemies this time, guys. It's true, Sky. The group Gorilla Girl Power never... They never had a hit. Despite the goal of the meme community to properly enjoy them, they just never... They never made it. We're, we're gonna land off, jump off that barrel that he throws and get into that bonus stage. We're gonna find a way. Let's dig deep and let's hope Sparkbot doesn't screw me up. Sparkbot failed to mess me up, guys. We were able to do it this time. And that's 26 crumb coins. And a one up for our trouble. So the song we're listening to right now is actually an er off of an early EP that Dixie released as a solo. Diddy, of course, has it on repeat nonstop, and it is why he fell for Dixie in the first place. I may have wanted to get Glimmer to bring them with me. We're gonna see if I can navigate this in the dark. Uh, okay. Because I do not remember Glimmer's Galleon well enough to do it without Glimmer. Now, fortunately, we have all these bananas guiding us. And also, fortunately, here is Glimmer. Following in Squawk's... Flapping patterns. To hold this light for us. I don't remember where the bonus, other bonus stages are, though. So we will have to navigate the stage a little bit. Oops. 
So something over, nope. Now these puffer fish decide to explode as their method of attacking us. They are terrifying. And their spikes are actually the same as the stingers, the zingers have that Harambe and Diddy, Harambe and Dixie are all allergic to. And so they are quite deadly to us. Starfish, however, are no real threat. Despite having many five points on them, their points are not stingers, and therefore they cannot hurt us. Although sometimes both Diddy Harambe and Dixie like to pretend that they are hurt for comic relief. In fact, one of their favorite games to play as a couple is to pretend that one of them got hurt and to mess with the other one. A game that I have no doubt Jax, if she was in chat, would appreciate. But I think she's currently away getting dinner. Ooh, that's not how to get through here. We'll try the up way first. Okay, the bananas are only leading me to dead ends. Yep, bananas are dead ends. Bananas are dead ends. Things I never noticed as a kid. It's really sneaky. Okay, that's two bonus stages. Haven't found the DK coin yet. And this area takes way too much upness. Am I supposed to be going up right now? However, these uh, jaws are able to take out Diddy Harambe. And of course, the lightest touch will make Dixie cry. There are rumors that she was abused as a child. We don't know that those things that those rumors are true. But other than the physical contact that Diddy offers, she specifically prefers not to be touched. Consent, as they say, is very important. And while Harambe may, may disagree with that statement, Diddy Harambe wholeheartedly agrees with it. But of course, Harambe was born during a different time. And there's also the fact that there's no one who would not consent to being touched by Harambe. That's the bonus stage I hit. I think the DK coin is somewhere low, but I don't remember. and pop. I'm going to check the end of the stage and hope the DK coin is there. I don't think it is. DK coins at the start of the level, go figure. And here is our first porcupine. And he will chill here and enjoy the beautiful tunes. Above the bonus room at the beginning. I didn't remember that. Oh, 
oh, right, Rain to save the game. It's very important to visit Wrinkly Harambe. She has been neglected by the original Harambe. Cranky Harambe. I just damage boosted. Don't know what I was thinking. Sometimes those throws are slightly hard to aim when your Kong goes off the screen. Alright, Dixie, you are expendable. That was embarrassing. That was very embarrassing. Let's give an F in chat. Or blame Sparkbot, either one. Both are valid options. That deserves no respect, that is right, Sky. It absolutely deserves no respect. For anyone who is lurking, Sparkbot is the glorious creation above my head. I'm surprised I can make that jump. The crocodile deceived me at just the right moment. It lowered itself beneath the waves. Beneath the swamp. And despite Diddy Harambe's excellent swimming skills, swamp water is completely different from clean water. That's the same exact timing. I just decided to do that again. That was... RIP! But yeah, I'm, I'm guessing comparing Harambe Kong Country to the sequel, the controls are just more responsive in this one, and that's why I, I was hitting the roll button or the jump button just a little bit late on all those early game jumps that I was getting killed by. Okay, we're not going for the O this time. Odd. No squitters past this point? We haven't seen squitter. And yet here he is, ready and waiting to get revenge. For a single bonus stage. And as Game pointed out, the sign will defeat him. Because signs are an animal's greatest enemy. Fortunately, Harambe did make that dark pact to allow our animal buddies to become something useful when they fail to pass by the sign. Dixie's hair did win her a lot of fans, and she did have ample opportunity, had she chosen to, to cheat on Diddy while doing local gigs for her band.
Oh crap, I can't go underneath that one. Uh, here we go. Have to actually be on top of that. Oh gosh. We might have to redo this, guys. We're gonna have to redo this, guys. Alright! It was close, but we got there. And now we can spend an entire level as Ratley. And strangely, the inside cabin here looks identical to the one in the origin at the start of the game. Apparently, all of K. Rule's ships are outfitted in the same way. Okay, underneath one of these is a bonus stage, I think. Is it this one? I don't think it's this one. This just shoots me up? Well, that's the bonus stage. Okay, cool. Yes, game. The Kongs, in fact, became... Ratley. The same dark magic that makes those signs eradicate our animal buddies is the same magic that is used in certain barrels to turn our Kong friends into animal buddies. I never realized the song was a remix of the K. Rule music from the first game. For the for the first part. Or for the entire thing, actually, yeah. It's true, Harambe... Harambe, as Sky pointed out in chat, Harambe was a fantastic practitioner of black magic. It's one of the reasons why there's so much speculation that Harambe's death has brought about the end of the world. While there are some who say that Harambe died for our sins, there are others who say that Harambe's death released the lock that was keeping an Eldritch Horror in check. What the truth is, we may never know. Until December of 2020, when the apocalypse arrives and all the portents leading up to it over the past year are revealed to everyone as being truly signs of the apocalypse. Can I make that jump? No, I can't. No, exactly, Sky. We have the murder bees for the month of May. Something terrible has happened each and every month of this year. What will June be? Will it be global warming? Will it be... Actually, at the risk of getting too serious for a moment, the, uh, the famine idea is a really serious... I don't, I don't want to go under this guy's Radley. There's actually a lot of discussion about whether or not we will have... ...enough foodstuffs in coming months with how much stuff... with how much the food supply has been shut down. I missed the TK coin. It was underneath one of the... ...areas. You know, that's a valid question. Can we get a good old-fashioned war? And for a moment, when we thought that Kim Jong-un had died, and we knew... That it, and we had supposed that another had taken place in his, his position, we thought that she would put the cute in execute. DK coin is near the O. Thank you. No, game death should take me occasionally. 
all of the speedrunners and stuff say that Radley is jank controls, and I'm one of the I'm one of the casuals who disagrees. Like he definitely takes getting used to. And you always think you're going to make it farther than you do with your jumps. But almost every mistake has been mine. As long as death buys you dinner first, it can take you any time. <gasps> that wasn't right. Must be to the right of the oak. Okay. I should have gotten the midway. Now, despite this song being an ode to K. Rule, it does not. In, this level does not, in fact, have the epicness of K. Rule. I think the whole problem with Radley is how much he gets stuck on the ground as he moves. No, game. We're not going to run out of lives. Dang it, Sparkbot! Stop helping. Alright, I have to hit this first. When you get the hero coin. Oh yeah, I forgot that the hero coin was the other name, was the, was the official name for these. Now you'll notice that these crocodiles are a bit differently abled from the rest of us. Well, I suppose none of us know if I have working legs, and I don't know if you have working legs either. But as you can see, they have nice pogo stick prosthetics that they are enjoying to the fullest. In fact, they're trying to match Radley's jumping ability. Okay, we're gonna hit the uh, midway first. Okay, I have to jump. Down and then up. Cool. That's why we got the midway. Oh, geez. There we go. DK barrels give you your other Kong. And so, when you're an animal buddy, there is one in reserve game. That way you always have the 2 HP. I'm gonna miss a bonus stage in this level 2, probably. Oop, not the way to do that. Now these guys, if you jump on them, they get mad. Very mad. Now they call this stage Slime Climb. Because this pirate ship is steadily getting flooded. In fact, the flood is so great that it's able to continue up this massive ship. That's right, Sky. I need to get good. Now, these crocodiles do have their legs, and they use them for climbing. This was not the way to... Okay, we're gonna uh, hit the midway. Hit the midway. That's what I need. I need the exclamation barrel. Okay, cool. That's the bonus stage I was going to miss, guys. So we don't need to worry about that anymore. And now, this special version of Jaws doesn't dare harm us, because we have invincibility. It's not actually invincibility, so much as it is the scent of another Jaws. And so he thinks that Dixie is a potential mate. Dixie, of course, being used to dealing with plenty of men in her life, understands how to use this to her advantage. 
without having anything bad happen to her. What was that? Oh, that was just a way up, apparently. Oh. Not what we want to do. We're not going to make it. Sky, if you have a different take on the lore, you are more than free to share it. That's right, game. I am scrubbing it up for your enjoyment. There's nothing to the left. I don't think there is. I think it's just that one bonus stage that's a pain. The DK coin might be down somewhere along the way. It's either that or it's off the very top, and I forget which. Don't tell me yet, Sky, where it is. You know, Dixie grew up in a very misogynistic society. You know, Harambe, being the great Harambe that he is, never, you know, didn't have to deal with the same problems that our modern generation does. And while Diddy was able to adapt to the times very, very well, Dixie, unfortunately, was raised in a time where such things were not as well known. See, right there at the top. That better be all the bonus stages. I don't want to go back into this level. I also need to try that skip credits at the end of each stage and see if I can learn how to do that. Perfect. Next up is Bramble Blast. With the best music in the game, so we'll, we'll take a moment just to enjoy the music. Yes. No? I'm trying to know where the bonus stages are in this level now. It's not a bonus stage. Okay. Yeah, there's a, I, I definitely remember almost everything, just not quite everything. This is a bonus stage that exists. Of course, we have those helpful bananas letting us know. Well, we're just gonna ignore that banana coin. recognize some of the music from Brawl, as you should. 
Let's do this the uh, difficult way. Oop. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. I don't think I am. There might just be one more bonus stage in here. Oh, not the... I knew it was coming, and I missed it. That's fine. I don't have the DK coin either. Do I remember where the DK coin in this level is? It might be at the end, or it might be with that bonus stage. side there confused me. That looked numbered instead of automatic. Game, I'm going to need you to translate for me. I don't remember enough of the brawl speak to remember what subspace emissary is. Because now it's sounding like a game instead of a stage. That's automatic, okay. Darn it. You don't think I'll have trouble finding the coin? Oh, it was Brawl's Adventure Mode, okay. Oop, not that way. I see a DK coin! Which means I know how to get to the DK coin. Until I mess up and I screw it up. Like that! Thanks, SparkBot. Thanks for pressing the button for me. It's fine, we just wanted to listen to more of this banging tune. Makes me wish I still played tenor sax. Oop. Nope. Dang it. I also remember some ancient, uh, like, pre- possibly pre brental Floss lyrics getting added to this song. Okay, it's this one. Cool. Oh, it's Squawks. I thought I got invincibility for this. And a DK barrel. How nice. Yeah, this is a long level, especially when you're a scrub and you die repeatedly to it. Oop. Bonus stage. Let's not screw this up. Find the token. Wait, is Squawks copying out eggs? I just noticed there's like some dots on them. And a lone banana for our trouble to put us at 69 bananas. As we listen to Dixie pounding on the inside of that barrel, 
begging to be let out and helped. And now we get to deal with someone who we have not seen yet in this run. This fine gentleman is named Clubba. Or he may be... Not be named Clubba. I forget his exact name. He may have a different name from a uh, relative of his we will be encountering. Ooh. Well, that was... Cudger, thank you, Sky. Okay, let's switch over to uh, Dixie. Oh, he was able to... He's able to stomp through the TNT barrel? Cludger, okay. Of course, this is the toughest boss in the game. In fact, they say that he is unbeatable. That he is, in fact, a force that is nearly as strong as Harambe himself. After all, you see the way he is shrugging off these TNT barrels as if they're nothing. They simply startle him. And then he goes back to swing his makeshift baseball bat with nails at us. Oh, he jumps? Forgot about that part. That's right, it's actually not the TNT itself that troubles him. It's actually the smoke from the TNT barrel. In fact, the smoke bothers him so... This fight's still going? Man, this is as long as I remember it being. All these enemies take one more hit than I expect them to. Oop. Like I said, this guy, like we pointed out, this guy cheats. He, he is, it, it's, it's almost too much to expect Diddy Harambe and Dixie to defeat him. But fortunately, he eventually inhaled so much smoke that he decides to dive into the water to get it out of his lungs. Okay, that was everything, right? Good. And we go on to the best part of the game, Crazy Creme Land. These are truly the best levels, and I wish there were more people in chat right now to enjoy them with us. I wish Leaf was in here. I wish Durf was in here. I wish my son Object was in here. So we could objectify him instead of Dixie. Alright, I can just do that. And I wish anybody else was here. Because these are truly the best levels. See, here we are in a honeycomb. How often, how, or in, inside a beehive. Why am I saying honeycomb? There is honey on the walls. We are sticking to it. Look, game. You need to understand that this game, despite its age, is timeless. And you shouldn't be so quick to rush to judgment in that way. Do I not jump up that side? So if we leave... I mean, here, here's a comical position. One, Dixie is eating the honey off of the wall. Now, she doesn't realize that she's actually just eating the comb right now. Diddy, meanwhile, is trapped in this perpetual barrel roll to show off his ability. Game, Durf is interested in every game that I play. Even when she says she's not, she's still interested in them. She still enjoys watching this great content that all of us are enjoying together.
And if I'm not mistaken, these are the first porcupines we have seen since the one at the end of Glimmer's Galleon. Porcupines, fun fact, also enjoy honey. I feel like there might have been a bonus stage back down that way that I just missed. Or no, there was a skip to get up here that I missed. I think. We have two bonus stages in the beginning. I need to stop worrying so much about that. I just need to find the DK coin. And I definitely haven't missed it yet. No! Squitter! Now, Squitter, because he is wearing tennis shoes, specifically Nikes, is able to walk on honey without it getting stuck to him. And no, this video was not sponsored by Nike. We are simply respecting the greatest shoe company. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do jump. Oh, maybe I can. I guess I can if I try that really hard. Whew. Nope, nothing up there. Sky, stop telling me these things. You, you wait for me to fail, and then you tell me that I missed something. Don't go spoiling for me that I need to not scrub away Squitter. I need, to, I need to not do those jump air webs. Yeah, see, this doesn't require squid. Oh, yeah, this is just the DK coin. Oh, this does require squid because I can't damage boost twice. Ooh. It's actually a bu Is this not DK coin? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, that's the see, Sky, this is why you don't tell me where third bonus stage is. I would have found it both on my own. Or I would have failed to keep Squitter, and I would have attempted to damage boost. Oh, gosh. Those web jumps are hard on this controller. I mean, they're probably hard in general. What's up there? Banana trail. Oh, I'm actually hitting L twice sometimes? Really? And they sneakily place a one-up balloon there so that if you're not quick enough... I think there's a hook on this side to get to it or something, maybe? I forget. Thank you, Sky. I do appreciate the assist, just to make sure that we get this done in a timely manner. But we shouldn't be too slow, either way. We're uh, an hour and a half in, and we're, what did that say, 48%, I think? I mean, technically we're almost two hours in because of the original uh, glitched version of the game. Target Terror, which one is this? It's our first roller coaster level, guys. Hype! I may intentionally take deaths here so we can stay on the roller coaster. Who knows? Only time will tell. Ooh. See, guys, we're fine. And of course, if we don't hit these checkbox barrels, the door will not open and we will lose a Kong on our way in. And if we hit that X barrel. I like how I remember that bonus stage sheerly off of the uh, sound effect, or the, the music, where we were in the music. Oh, momentum killed me. Um, we are going to... Yeah, we're going to take the death. We're going to... So that wall can still stop us. We're going to take the death for that, guys. That's my bad. It's not SparkBot's fault this time. It's mine. I'll run up to that one. S 
So as you noticed, game, this one is not minecart stages. Instead, it is roller coaster stages. And the minecarts are fantastic, don't get me wrong, but the roller coaster stages are in fact better. We've got a nice steady beat for the song. The difference is that we ride roller coasters and we sit in minecarts. That is the difference between roller coasters and minecarts. There also aren't any... Jeez, I need to... I didn't ever realize there were... Uh... Ooh, I got that guy. Okay, cool. Hands are sweaty. I don't know if it's hot where you guys are, but in here it is hot. Diddy, of course, out of safety, always remembers to cover his head when he goes underneath one. It's hot there too, Sky, good to know. Oop, that was, that's nothing. Oh, 93 Fahrenheit, that's terrible. It is not that hot here. I'm pretty sure this room is still under 90. But this room is also not cold. And there's our DK coin. And look at that, we found us another bonus stage by trusting the guy who was throwing barrels at us. He's a true friend. He's attempting to look like he serves K. Rule and is against Harambe, but secretly he supports Harambe and knows that he alone cannot save Harambe, but perhaps Diddy, Harambe, and Dixie can save Harambe. Yeah, this, the South Town sounds like a terrible place to live in for a variety of reasons, temperature being uh, one of the major ones. Whereas I'm up here in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. Wishing that we could actually go outside and enjoy the beauty. Oop. Well, Dixie, did he tried. And he grabbed the one up so that you could live, even if he could not. Oh, and there's Diddy. Let's uh, see if I can learn how to... Oh, you just hit select over the end and you can skip the thing. Cool. That was all of them. Good. And Bramble Scramble, one of the best levels in the game. I don't want to trust this jump. That's why I didn't want to trust that jump. Now, why this stage is in Kremlin, who knows? But it is. And so we're just going to enjoy this beautiful music. Grab all these bananas. Shoot, that was not the... Oop. That didn't kill me. Oh, that's... Right, I got the DK going at the start of the level. For some reason, I think it might be up there. Oop. This box's control is finicky. No, 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 don't, don't get on him. Don't get on him. No! We hit the midway before this, right? I think we hit the midway before this. I hope we did. Was that not the DK coin at the beginning? We're just gonna pretend that one didn't happen. It was funny, but we're gonna pretend it didn't happen. I can't uh, get to the invincibility without Diddy. All 
All right then. Scrub's gonna scrub. What can I say? Fall did he fall. Fall to your doom and then climb back up. Because we are, at the, at, after all, at the top of Crazy Kremland. The greatest amusement park known to Harambe. In fact, they say that Harambe was hoping to make a stop here when he came to this island. Now, let's make sure that we can not suck on squawks this time. That was scary. Here we go, guys. We're up to 43 creme coins. It's almost enough to buy us half a Costco hot dog. I don't think there's anything back here besides bananas, but we're gonna go check anyway. Just bananas and the banana coin? Okay. Now, of course, some bees are so powerful that nothing can stop them, such as those bees we just passed by. Such zingers are so powerful that they are Harambe's greatest fear. Is this DK coin? Nope, this isn't DK coin. That's lovely. However, we notice there is a banana over here. How convenient. And a squitter barrel. So now, game, you can see that we have a little squitter icon in the lower left. And that shows that we still have a squitter in reserve. I'm always so nervous going through those, even though the hitbox really isn't that bad. We're not going to bother with the extra hidden one-ups in there either. Goodbye, Squitter. I was actually watching a streamer uh, the other night who found this little hole and he went down this way to get to that bonus stage. It was so funny. Not as intended, but it worked. Wait, are we down to 41 lives? I thought we were... Ooh. Oh, right, because I didn't go this way originally. Okay, that, that I'm like, where'd these many neckies come from? This actually might be the long way. Unfortunately, these bees have impenetrable stingers. By which I mean that we cannot penetrate their stingers, although their stingers are capable of penetrating any substance known to man.
and here we face a few more of them. But we will take our vengeance on the zingers that we can. And lose Dixie as a result of our hubris. Well, at least we know we have all the bonus stages, so we just gotta finish the level, guys. You know, let's uh, take this shortcut. Well, Squitter is not the fastest spider alive. Squitter actually may be the slowest spider in all of history. Oh, right, arrows over there. Squitter's webs are among the strongest, having that same gravity-defying power that Harambe is known for. And the G is forever trapped away from where we can reach it. And of course, Dixie plays the riff that she is known for. Now, we haven't stopped by Funky Harambe. He still has his surfer vibe going on. You'll notice that his planes look different than they did last time. In fact, they have bullseyes on them for anyone who wants to shoot them down because they double for target practice. And here we have what may be the best stage in the game. But first, let's destroy some Kremlings. Oop, nope. Fortunately, we can run directly into Kremlings to kill them. Because that is how head-on collisions work. You escape safe and sound. And the problem is for the other person to deal with. Dixie, why are you going in reverse? Dixie, why? Oh, hey, speed boost. Oop. We may have jumped a uh, tad premature there. Dixie may have gotten a bit too excited. Yes, another roller coaster level. Now, if we jump on the Kremlings instead of ramming them, we will maintain more of our speed. Oop. We are sixth. So far, we're winning the rest race, guys. And we just jumped over that one without even killing him. Sometimes we gotta show mercy too, guys. Oop. He actually managed to, uh... We, we jumped, we hit him, and he sacrificed himself so that Dixie would be... disqualified from the race. Welcome, Rex. You did, in fact, sign in it right at the right time with the best stage in the game. See, in true Mario Kart fashion, some of our enemies we jump over, but most of them we attack. Good job with the timing on that message, Rex. I glance over to chat, and it's... it's I just decided to drive off the edge. Just like last night's stream, where I would run off the edge. The best part is this is supposed to be one of the easiest stages in the game. Oh, 
Okay, let's stop doing this for style points. Which I'm, of course, going to keep doing it for style points. Because why wouldn't I? Oop, didn't kill him. Oop, bumping into him caused us to lose my speed. Rex, I, I in fact have considered playing an easier game that might be more my speed. However, we are trying here to honor Harambe tonight. And in honoring Harambe, there is no choice but to save Harambe. Because what else are we supposed to do when we are here without Harambe? When he's still in our lonely mind. And when we think about him all the time. Because if we are not going bananas out on stream, why are we even here? Come here, buddy. Oop. No, 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 you get back here. You get back here. Oh, that's second? Where's the first place guy? There you are, you punk. Get back here. No game, I die because I am bad. We are going first for swag, and as part of our necessary 100%. Okay, you know, may maybe, you know, at, at the risk of being a little bit judgmental, maybe having Dixie as the driver is not the right play. Maybe the stereotype will hold true. And now I'm actually paying attention. Fourth place. That was close. There we go. First place. And a DK coin. And we claim first place. In Harambe's hearts and minds. That's true, Rex. Dixie probably wasn't able to get her hair out of her face to actually see the tracks. End game, I may in fact have gotten lucky. Will I get as lucky in Mudhole Marsh? That remains to be seen. This is one of the most beautiful levels to watch on a speedrun, though. Like, this is the level I would most want to learn the speed strats on. What is this? A treasure chest inside of a treasure chest? Oh, no! Only one choice. Go into the bog right after the treasure chest. That's a really good point, Sky. The Donkey Kong series is the only series that really has auto-scrollers consistently as the best levels. You know, they very much followed in the Battletoads tradition. We need to actually have this... Yeah, that race level we just got through game. One of the best levels by far. Not to mention Donkey Kong Country Returns has so many good auto-scrollers in it. Like, that, that is what I need to play on stream once I get a capture card. Okay. Okay. 
What Battletoads? Dude, Battletoads is fantastic. I will play Battletoads on stream. I can't beat it. But I will most I, I will happily grind out Battletoads on stream until I beat it. And, and that's without warps, without the five lives code. I will happily do that. Battletoads is fantastic. Speeder bike level is bay. Volkmire's Inferno is the best level in Battletoads. Like, it greatly disappoints me, all those people who beat Battle. That's a bananas? Really, I've been doing this the whole time for bananas? This shit's bananas. Oh, you're calling me out and you're gonna require me to do that, Sky? Oh, that's a invincibility? I don't think the invincibility is necessary for anything. Is it? I'm, I'm actually really lucky that, uh, ooh, end that. Shut up or put up? Okay, Battletoads is on the list for stream. Uh, we are, we are going to do... We'll, we'll go ahead and do probably every Battletoads game. Except for, I don't have a way to play arcade on stream currently, I don't think. And I've never actually beaten the Battletoads arcade game. So that's going to be it. But we're going to, um... That, that's what I need to think about, though, because a few summers back, I and by a few summers back, I probably mean, like, several summers back, I was actively trying to beat Battletoads on the NES. Uh, no extra lives. No, uh... No warps. And pretty much, like, every single day I played it, I managed to get a stage farther. Like, I, I think I made it to... Was it the elevator shaft by the time I was done? I think. I'm forgetting offhand. Because the, the later levels are crazy hard. Like, I'm 100% not looking... Like, as much as Clinger Winger is my favorite level in Battle Maniacs, I'm not looking forward to Clinger Winger on the NES version. So I think what I'm going to do is, um... I'll need to figure out my schedule. The main thing is I can't just grind it all out. Like, it's going to have to be, like, do a run a day, see how far I get, do another run if I'm up for it, and then stream something else. Because I will go insane if I'm playing too much Battletoads back to back, and just progressing like one level at a time. Especially since I'm not going to use warps or extra lives to train for it either. Here, Hedgehog. Oh no, did I knock you off into the swamp? I'm so sorry. No, I'm, I'm more than willing to put all my practice time on cam. I figure that's more fun anyway. Like, half the fun of Battletoads is watching... I don't know how we just managed to successfully survive that. First try. No, I'm going to do all my practicing on cam. Why not? Like, have some fun with it. That, that's the good kind of struggle that could, uh... That people like to watch. It's, it's one of the few struggles I'm really willing to make. You know? Especially if I have some shorter expected streams or something. I'm gonna need to figure out the scheduling, but other than that, I'm, uh, really... That's just banana coin. Okay. I'm actually really excited about this idea. I might also... Actually, I'll probably uh, do a Battletoads night just to kick it off. I don't know if there's a thing up there or not. I don't think so. Is there a thing down here? There's a hook down here. That's just the K. Okay. So I think what we'll do for the first night, uh, and I'm not sure exactly when it'll be. Sometime in the relatively near future. Oop, Diddy, that's not the way to... It's not that bad, but there you Is we will do a Battletoads night. We'll start off on NES Battletoads. I'll get killed probably in the ice level, because I haven't played through it in so long. Uh, but I should be able to still crush speeder bikes. And then once I die, if I'm not willing to go for a second run of Battletoads, we will do uh, Battle Mania. Why is there a bee up there? Are you you're part of the next section, okay.
Uh, so, so we'll we'll do. I can't do speeder bikes blindfolded yet. I might be able to in battle maniacs with a little bit of practice. But NES is hard, especially at the end of the stage. Especially because the NES controls aren't as good, and that's one of the things that was the biggest difficulty for me. This had better be a bonus stage, not a short. Ooh. And not a shortcut. Probably isn't. Probably is a shortcut. Nope, it's a bonus stage. Okay. And then we'll do uh we'll we'll play through original battle toads. I'll get killed, I'll lose all my continues on the ice level. I might make it to surf if I make it to surf city, I should be able to make it to the uh Oh, is is Carnat Slayer after Carnat Slayer is after after um Surf City. Is this where I just went? That's where I just went. Okay, cool. And then Volkmeyer's Inferno, I might still who knows. I'd, I'd be surprised. If I make it to Volkmeyer's Inferno, that in and of itself will be impressive for a first run, because of how many years it's been. There are hooks here. We could do this with Rambi, but instead, we'll go ahead and do it the way the developers intended. And the la I know the last time I played Battle Maniacs, uh, Kitsune was in the room with me, and I was trying to like show off for him, kind of, and I actually lost in Klinger Winger. It was really embarrassing, because Klinger Winger is by far my favorite level of Battle Maniacs. Really? Rambi, your horn couldn't take that head on? For shame. Holy crap, it's a giant bee. Run! Without using your boost, clearly. That's fun. Oop. See, these ingers are so strong they can rebound you. There's a bonus stage here, is there something somewhere? I hope there's not an end of stage bonus stage. We all disagree with that hit, Sky. Rambi should have survived. And so... There's a bonus stage at the end of the stage. Okay, do I remember how to shortcut through this level? I don't think I can there. There should be a hook somewhere up here. Maybe. Ooh! No, no, no! I thought there was a hook up here. Nope, there's not. Good job, guys. Good job, team. And Battle Maniacs I can hopefully pound out on stream. Uh, I know when I did my Battle Maniacs Let's Play on YouTube back in the day, I was able to get through the whole game with one without even using a continue. But that was back when I was still in my prime. So we're gonna have to see what I'm able to do now. Oop. Game, you do plenty of good things that are worthy of commendation. Is there a way to, like, shortcut from here, maybe? Ooh, let's not do that, then. Why is that honey here if it's not... It's just in case you missed that jump? Okay. It often is sarcastic game. Often when I say, say when I say things, they are not meant to be taken seriously. They are meant to be taken with the great sarcasm they intend. Such as was the case that time. No, no, no. Okay, I'm surprised I survived that. I know where the bonus stage is. I missed it the first time. I'm so bad. All right, B, let's fight. Oh no. That's fine, you can go ahead of me. I'll follow you. Mm -hmm. 
Should have remembered it was there. I'm bad. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I don't have enough time to. Yes, I do. Okay. So hopefully I can still. Pa so I mean, Klinger Winger is the main hangup with Battle Maniacs. Because if I can beat Klinger Winger, I can beat the game. Should still be able to beat the game even if I'm on my last continue. Although I may lose lives in Rat Race and against Dark Queen. That's everything. That's everything. Now, during the original Harambe Kong Country, we killed Queen Zing Sting. This, however, is the king. And the king does not mess around. Now, the king will temporarily become invincible and shoot multiple stingers at us, just like those pufferfish did. Now, I, I, I mentioned those before, those pufferfish shot out the same singers as these bees. I'll check this guy one more time for next phase. Now, fortunately, the king is slowly losing his powers. We hit him with enough eggs. And he goes down. I definitely agree with that, Sky. The In both games, the Zingers are absolutely invasive species to both of the islands. Very much like the current Hornet problem we have going on in the Pacific Northwest. Gloomy Gulch, some of the best levels in the game. Yeah, exactly. It's an abandoned amusement park, and the bees decided to come in and take over. I don't think you're a secret. Nope, it's not like one of the... Classic series ones, original game ones. This is probably the spot in the game where my memory will start to get a little bit bad with bonus stages. I also forget which level has a DK coin at the very end of the level. I need to make sure I get those first try. I know, this scenery is beautiful. Like, look at this background that goes unappreciated. That the artist spent so much work on. And we're just around murdering things. Oop. Oh, not that button. Whoa! What? How do I switch partners? Oh, it's select. Duh. Well, guys, we might have screwed up this bonus stage. I couldn't remember how to switch Kongs. One more, unfortunately. Select a switch Kongs. Is this the bonus stage I was just on? Whew. I, mean, I probably could have just done this with Diddy originally, but I was like, oh, Dixie will be easier. How do I switch Kongs? And like a true hero, Diddy Harambe saves the day. Oh no, the TNT destroyed the ghost rope.
You know, talking about the scenery makes me wonder where Nebros is tonight, but I'm pretty sure she's busy playing a Final Fantasy VII Remake. And by this point, she's probably gotten past us. Oh, good, we have all the bonus stages of DK when we just got finished level. Cool. Thank you for that F in chat. I always love throwing the TNT at that zinger and watching the ghost rope disappear with it. Super jump for the G. Oh yeah, we have the DK going, okay. So one of the later stages in here has the DK going at the end. And I think it's the obnoxious stage too. And here we have one of the best levels in the game. Another roller coaster level for game's enjoyment. And I think this is the only level this soundtrack plays in the game, or this song. We have a ghost following us. And if we fail to get enough of those pluses to get more time for ourselves, or if we hit enough of these minuses... Oh, he actually got me before I got through the door. That sly guy. That's fine. Diddy's the better driver anyway. We established this back in the race. And thank you, Sky, for posting that wonderful description of what this channel is all about. Our goal is just to have fun on this channel, to talk to each other, have a good time. And if you want to help make more of that happen, please drop us a follow. We are grinding to the 50 followers needed for affiliate status. And if not, that's fine too. I just hope that you're enjoying and having a good time. It's the most important thing. We need moments of levity while we're all stuck around doing nothing. So, for anyone lurking at this moment, I will point out that I think my plan for tomorrow night's stream is to play Donkey Kong Country 3. To go ahead and wrap up the trilogy, see that it's done. I'm not sure yet if we'll be doing 100%, 102% on that one yet, because I forget where a lot of the bonus stages are. We might. We will probably be, we will be playing Don't Starve Together tomorrow, but we'll probably be doing it off-stream game. Uh, I'll talk to Sky about that, actually. Donkey Kong Country 3 may wait till next week. But this is also a reason why, dear viewer, dear lurker, if you get more involved or you drop something in my suggestion box, I am more willing to hear what you want to see. Because otherwise I'm stuck doing what I want to do. And that's good fun for me, but I care about what you want. Same thing on YouTube. If you are on YouTube, go ahead and leave a comment down below saying, Hey, what about this game? Or hey, I'm enjoying the Harambe jokes. Or, or maybe you think it is disrespectful for us to talk so casually about our Lord and Savior Harambe. Either way, let us know. Let me know. For now, we continue this glorious moment of Diddy Kong Racing. And we failed it. And you know what that means. Back to do it again. After all, this was the game when Diddy Kong learned how to do all of his racing to make sure that it was possible to compete with the Mario Kart series. You know, Donkey Kong himself, you know, Harambe Kong, 
had already competed in the Mario Kart circuit. And he told Diddy Kong, there's no way you can compete with that guy in the red hat. But Diddy wanted to prove him wrong. And so Diddy Kong created his own game. Beloved by niche fans everywhere. There we are, 54 Krem coins. We might one day have enough to buy us something. Who knows? Alas, Diddy has been claimed by this piratey ghost. Whose name I forget. And so Dixie takes us to the end of the level. Where we have a DK coin waiting for us. And this time we have the drum. In the background. That was everything? That was everything. On to Glusty, Gusty Glade. And we are going to need... Ooh. We are going to need... Diddy's help. So game, the gimmick of this level is that the wind blows. And it blows us with our favorite snake, Radley. This criminally underrated animal buddy. But it also blows against him sometimes too. Because sometimes you have the wind at your back, and sometimes you don't. This is a good little the ground is lava section right here. Where if you are a true pro, we should get the O. Oop. We're not getting the O. And of course the O'Radley level would not be complete without a super jump into a bonus stage. So we do. And we have this lovely three up balloon for getting Radley all the way to safety. And past the no pass trespassing sign. We're not past it, but you know what I mean. I need the bottom one. I don't need the bottom one. I need this one. It's the top one. Okay. Have a nice simple bonus stage that I screwed up. With no wind, no gimmicks, just sweet automatic barrel action that I'm screwing up repeatedly. Happens, guys. Some days it's your day, some days it's not. And now the wind is going back and forth. A nice, soothing breeze. Is there something down? There's banana coin down there. I don't care about the banana coin. Okay, we're gonna take the death for the DK coin. Worth. 
And we have all the bonus stages and the DK coins. So we are going to finish the stage. Right, Sparkbot? You're not going to get in my way? Mess with my button presses? Well, that's fine. And we want Dixie here just in case we have to fly. Fighting against the breeze is very difficult. That is how you're supposed to get the DK coin. Now you have short moments, moments of breeze, no breeze. Breeze, no breeze. Why, Spark Bot? Why? Okay, we're gonna finish it this time. And of course, game, if you have any more questions. I don't know, am I close to the end of the game? Who knows? In the original Harambe Kong Country, we had that pirate ship coming towards us to let us know. Meanwhile, we have no idea where K. Rule has taken Harambe. I suppose once we finish this world, we might have an idea and find out. Sparkbot, I'm going to grab you and pull you down from there. I swear. Okay. This time we're going to do it. But yeah, this game is, is significantly longer than the original Harambe Kong Country. Mostly because I think the levels are longer as a general rule. And there's also a few slower paced levels, which didn't quite exist in the original. I mean, they exist in the original game, but not as often. Oh, I know, the fact that I keep dying is not helping anything. Okay, we're going to ignore chat long enough to finish this stage. That is the plan. We are ignoring chat for the rest of this stage. Game, I'm trying to ignore chat. Stop posting things. It is entirely possible I've sucked that badly. It could be either one. Okay, we just got the barrels. Good enough. Good enough. Whew. There we go. Never have to see that level again. And we'll go save our game. We're at 62%. So that is how much of the game we have left, game. We still have an entire third of the game left. I actually feel like the 62% might have been where we saved last time. I can't remember. Now, this level, if I knew the strats properly, we could speedrun it really easily. But I don't remember where everything is offhand, so we are going to take the long way. So good players will hop off the, uh, bur shoot, this is the, if there's a bonus stage right there, I can come back for it, that's fine. See, good players will just hop off the parrot. Ooh, see? And they, I need Dixie there. And they know where to fall and not fall, and fly and not fly. I don't know the stage well enough to do that. Okay, we're going to get this bonus stage this time. We're not going to deal with the crocodile. Okay. This better not be a shortcut instead of a bonus stage. 
Oh, it is. Right, the area I was about to go up was not a bonus stage. I didn't need to take that death at all. So, this is Squawk's cousin, Fox. I don't remember his actual name, so we're gonna go with that. He can't fly, but he can glide. Squawks, of course, can fly. And spit eggs. How Squawks acquired the ability to spit eggs, you ask? Well, he got tired of laying them, and so he thought, what if I, you know, clench down really hard and hold him in? And so Squawks is actually puking up eggs. Alrighty, midway. Down we go. This is another level will be fun to learn the speed strats on. Just because it's done so quickly if you know how to fall down and where to fly and everything. And so right now, Squawks is actually puking up all of these eggs that he's been holding in. Oh, I missed hitting him with the... Rip run! I failed to hit the zinger so that we could take the TNT up and drop it when we got the Karam coin. For shame. And of course, this level is designed to taunt us and by reminding us that all of Harambe's kin are allergic to bees. In a level where we can't kill them. We can only avoid them. Unfortunately, leaving despite the fact that we have taken out the king, this colony is still managing to succeed without a queen. Crap, I need Dixie right now. Um... I can't get a boost off of you. Oh, that's fine. You're gonna kill me. Oh, that guy. That guy. I've got those guys who run fast when they get back up. Wait, I have all the bonus stages? Then what's that at the end? Oh. I just took that death for nothing. For nothing. Oop, N. We don't have the O. Doesn't even matter. Alrighty, guys, we got 93 banana coins. We're gonna hit triple digits soon. Now, the banana coin currency, of course, is backed by actual bananas. You, at any time, you can go to the Kong Treasury Department. I just had... That's what I killed myself over, was banana coin and some bananas. Worth it! You can actually take the banana coins to the Kong Treasury Department and exchange them for actual bananas. The currency is fully backed by bananas. Much like the U.S. once had the gold standard. And we end the stage with 95 banana coins. That is 95 bananas, guys. That's almost enough for a 1-up. Such a valuable currency. So well backed. Now the reason why banana coins are important as a currency, you know, with all these bananas all over the world, you know, why would they have a need for them? The simple explanation is that these bananas sitting out here, they, they would rot if they weren't getting eaten. And of course, once they are plucked, from their non-existent branches hanging here in the air. They never come back unless you revisit the level. 
I don't think there's anything over here I need. That was the spot I passed, okay. So it's the spot up here that I need, which I think has the DK coin? Or just a balloon. Oh, that's to get me up there. Dang it. Okay, so there's no bonus stages in the first part of the stage. So the, the coin's gonna be spent at Swanky's quiz show. And you can get extra lives from them. Which is why I was trying to explain earlier that, you know, Swanky, Swanky is a scam. He actually stole all the one-up balloons that he hands out. You know, they, they were meant to go to a charity. It's DK barrel right back here, right? No? No, there wasn't. Okay. Man, that, that timing for that auto web is difficult. And there is a banana coin down there, but we're not going to worry about it. So we might actually take out, check out Swanky's Bonanza in the uh, next world and see if we remember the answers to those questions. Is there not a bonus stage in the first half of the stage? That's slightly surprising. Oh, this level has a DK coin at the very end of Errol, so we're gonna need to make sure we get the timing right on that. We do not want to have to replay this stage. It's a fun stage, but it's super long, and this stage is difficult. Now, of course, all of the animal buddies also respect the banana coins as a viable currency. Mostly because, you know, the, the banana coins were a very difficult uh, currency at first to deal with. But as soon as Harambe himself got on board, you know, everyone everyone said this is what we're using now. We're, we're using these coins. Let's, uh... We can see where we're when in doubt, just take the low road. That's strange. This cannonball is going so much more slowly than the rest of them. I wonder why the cannonball is going so slowly and why there was this arrow pointing this way. If only we could find out somehow, magically. And look at that. Yeah, I can aim the webs up and down. And I decide when they open. Now, one of the confusing things about this game is why so many bonus stages take place in brambles when their stages don't. Every other bonus stage in the game, to my recollection, takes place in the stage where it is. But for some reason, there's a bunch of Bramble bonus stages that don't. So like here, I control when that opens. I can aim these guys up and down. I can aim these guys down. I can get hit by that zinger. I can complain to this zinger's HR department. Actually, I can't complain to the zinger's HR department because I killed King Zing Sting, and so now the entire colony is in disarray as a result of that. 97 coins, guys. We're almost there. Hmm, another arrow pointing towards that. Whatever could that mean? Fortunately, this cannonball is going at more appreciable speed. And in case we were confused about where the other bonus stage was, this one clues us in. And there we have the nice rare logo. Harambe debated using the logo for himself, but he thought, why not give others the chance to use it as their logo? And that is how the gaming company Rare was born. Okay. 
First try. Perfect. 27 DK coins. Do you want to take a guess at how many there could be in total game? There's one in every stage. That is everything. And now we have the creepy crow. We defeated the original crow. As the first boss. And now we're defeating his ghost. 40 is an excellent guess game. By way of spoilers, there are, in fact, 40 stage, 40 available uh, DK coins. However, one of them is not in a stage. One of them is actually held by the final boss in the game. So there are 39 stages. Oh crap, we missed the one that gives us a barrel. What do you do? You just, oh, you just kill me. Okay, cool. I didn't realize you were gonna go. Oh gosh, you come back! I haven't misplayed that in so long, so I forgot what he actually did. Cool. That's fine. This boss fight's not super long anyway. catch it that time. Okay, let's not screw this up now. out and I failed. Now fortunately ghosts are very easily defeated just like in real life. And so we have 61 creme coins. Well, we're at K Rules Keep. This must be the final area game. We must be getting there. And this level has such beautiful music, too. I don't think there's a bonus stage back where we came. And we get to be on guard. Finally. This level has quite a few less... Quite a few fewer swimming stages than the original did. Which even the original had less swimming stages than I remember. Oop. Will we get enough? Sparkbot, that was not the right strat. Fortunately, we get another try. It's the one time when the super... when the charge-up is not the correct play. Durf! Oh, you're hoping out with Enzo? Is he try still trying to lick what he doesn't have anymore? You are in time to watch us conquer the final world. See right there, game? When I lost my Kong, I didn't have the little end guard in the corner. Oop. I'm amazed that didn't hit me. Man. So. Swordfish. On guard's a swordfish. Swordfish, like some other foes and some other characters in gaming have their strength as their weakness. So, on guard, being a swordfish, he's, he's weak to swords and, and really anything blade-like. So when these starfish hit him with their points, he dies. Dirt. 
Gerf, how dare you agree with game that Mario Brothers 3 is superior to Donkey Kong Country 2? It's absolutely a contest. This is just Mario 3 we're talking about. We're not talking about, like, the Mario series on, on the whole, which, which narrowly beats out the Donkey Kong series. Mostly because the Donkey Kong series had enough kind of mediocre games, whereas Mario's had so many hits. But Donkey Kong, th this game is definitely better than Super Mario Bros. 3. And, and it's mostly because this had the advantage of being on the SNES. I mean, it, it really comes down to that. Well, game, unlike you, I don't take a single woman's opinion as the final opinion, like you do. Durf is but one woman, and her opinion is but one woman's opinion. Oh gosh! <sighs> Game, I, I would only... If she was married, that would not increase the value or decrease the value of her opinion, in my mind. It would also depend entirely on who she was married to. You know, if she was married to me, then... But if she was married to you, then, you know, her opinion might carry a little bit more weight, but I would also consider it to be a little more biased, you know? Did I just go back towards the start of the level? Didn't even realize what I was doing. Look, game, Durf is just as disgusted by the prospect of marrying me as I am by the prospect of marrying her. See? These pufferfish. They have spikes on them. Spikes are very similar to swords. Therefore, they can kill on guard. You, you should go puke now from that conversation, Durf. It's disgusting to think about that. Ooh, game with the burn in chat, saying that I would be the winner out of me and Durf if we got married. Thank you for having my back, game. I appreciate it. Oop, I missed that one up, balloon. Alas. And Dixie is so skilled with the guitar that she can play it underwater. Because it's an electric guitar, specifically. I missed a bonus stage? Okay, I skipped over this beginning part. I skipped over this beginning part. Oh, wait, maybe that's not it. Too fast. Oh. Maybe? Nope, that's just bananas. Where's the bonus stage I'm missing? We can't get more than 99 banana coins, guys. For shame. That's the first bonus stage. I did that one. This ledge here. It's not there. No, game, it's okay. Occasionally people make the joke about me and Durf dating or getting married, and then we're just properly repulsed for the rest of the night. Okay, so I went over the top this time. Or last time. Oop. Not that one. Here it is. Nope, that's just... Hidden bananas.
We referring to me, Durf and I. Me and Durf. Oh, it might be... Ah, uh, no, it shouldn't be here. Dang it, that was near the end of the level. Game, certain people just don't mix well together. Durf and I are great friends because we talk crap about each other, and that's it. Oh, there's a... No, there's not. There, here's a DK barrel. Okay, good. That perf... Did I turn back, or did I just miss the timing on that? Huh. <sighs> On guard, I swear, your hitbox. Like, people bash on Winky, or on, on Rattly, but... It's too easy to be casually playing and die as you. Thank you, Durf. You've rightly pointed out that I suck at this game. Why, Sparkbot? Why? Uh, no game, I'm not going to be stuck on this level long enough for you to get your workout in. I will definitely be at the next level by then. That said, if, if you uh, need to get your work in, out in, now is definitely the time to do that because the levels get more exciting from here on out. Either that or you're just not getting your workout in tonight, one of the two. I went under this last time, right? I, I can't make any promises that you're not going to miss exciting stuff, game. In fact, now that you're not here, I might stop dying entirely, and then I'll have it finished by the time you get back. That was for you, game. Obviously, that was for you. That was, that was not because I'm a terrible player at this game. Not at all. The second half of the stage is so long. I mean, this guy's gonna get back and he's gonna wonder why I've only made it this far. Okay, we're doing this the old-fashioned way. Poke anything that moves. Bonus stage, bonus stage, bonus stage, where are you? I full on don't know where the bonus stage is. on don't know where the bonus stage is. We have to come back for this one. Or we're gonna check with Cranky. Cranky might know. Cranky Hurambe, you are only hope. You were hoping for more frames this time, but no. Just give him some third rate st stand frames. Arctic Abyss. After the start, a long jump and then a high jump will win you more than just a gold medal. Oh, right, he tells me the hints for the uh, DK coins, not for the bonus stages.
Oh, that's fine. So, Durf, do you have any questions about Harambe Con Country? Oh, you missed our stream last night, didn't you? I might miss a bunch of stage in this level, too. Because, of course, we are doing this run. Because we are here without Harambe. And we still miss him in our dreams. I feel like I've already missed a bonus stage. Oh, we got this one. Now, when it says destroy them all, it doesn't actually mean, you know, destroy them all. It, it, it's really a matter of trying to capture each of them and interrogate them to find out where K. Rule is hiding Harambe. Because at the time of this game, Harambe's greatest fear, aside from bees, was being trapped in a zoo for the rest of his life. And we don't need that one up. I'm going to assume that bee down there is not hiding anything. And there's our DK coin. I wonder where that last bonus stage was in the uh, previous level. For the life of me, I can't remember. Oop. That's fine. We'll damage boost it. We'll, we'll narrowly damage boost it. Oh, the music of this game is so good. No squawk sign? Why would there be a no squawk sign? I hope that was not the uh, intended. There we go. This should be the last bonus stage. Okay, cool. I nearly just whiffed that jump. Like, I full on nearly just whiffed that jump. Point appears behind where I am, not at the end of where I am. Alas, squawks, I knew ye well. And save our game. 71%. Which seems low. Let's actually spend the two coins to save. Oh, it is 71%. Okay. I guess it must be like every bonus stage and every coin is counted as a percentile. Something like that. Well, game, you're in luck. We have one of the uh, slowest levels in the game since we're not going to glitch our way through it. It's also a game that is capable of crashing the SNES if you do something with this barrel, I think. Also a level where we get to be Rambi. It's not a cave. But Rambi likes the inside of castles too. He is very enthusiastic about interior design. And he's looking to see if these torches and these chains are the right thing for his new summer home. He is not, however, a fan of the porcupines. 
Really? That one catches my hitbox, but the other one doesn't? And here, Rambi shows off his impressive jumping skills. After all, at one point in time, Harambe taught Rambi to play fetch with him. Now I'm pretty sure if we... Crap, I have to do that entire first section again. No bueno. Kill me. Kill me now. Kill me now. Note to self, don't, don't jump over the bees. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. Very bad idea. Oops. My apologies for that one. Okay, this time we're getting to midway. I don't ever want to have to do the first half of the stage after this time again. Come join us, Dixie. Crap. I don't know why that guy didn't come at me. I thought he was supposed to. Come on, Sparkbot, give me some good luck. I'm in the begging phase now. On the upside derf, after these slow levels, we get some of the best levels in the game. Okay, now we just need to not screw up the bonus stage this time. And here during this song, we have the sound of impending doom. As Diddy Harambe wonders, will he ever save Harambe? Or will he be here without Harambe forever? Only time will tell. Along with this runner's ability. This is the easy way now. I think if you just let the ceiling come up, it'll kill all of them. But I don't entirely want to risk that. I missed the final jump to get the bonus coin. We did it legit, guys. 65 creme coins down. Just a few to go. Alright, let's hit that midway. Right? Midway? Yes? No? Maybe? didn't I? Oh no, I didn't. I thought there was something more at that one. I really hope I'm not missing it. Here it is. Okay, cool. Welcome back, Sky. Uh, so I missed a bonus stage in the first uh, ice level in this world, and I don't remember where it is. Like, I went back through the level and died multiple times and failed to find it. So I got the obvious one near the beginning where the bananas are pointing. Oh crap, I need to go down, 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 down. DK point. Okay. 
So, like, I full-on can't remember where it is. So I'm gonna need you to check that one. So I think it's Arctic Abyss is the level name. And here we play a Rejected Battletoads bonus stage. Get past the 4 with the G and do something, okay. Thank you. We'll get back to that as soon as we finish this level. You also missed me going through the first half of this stage as Rambi, and then whiffing his bonus stage and having to replay it. Not one of my finest moments, as you might imagine. Like, I was trying to be fancy and jump off of the bees, and I ended up jumping off one of the bees and into another bee. Hit a hidden no on guard sign. I need to finish reading the rest of your first comment first. I did that area. Whatever, we'll check. Oh, that's fair. Okay. I'm glad you were able to catch parts of it. And this is what I was saying earlier, where we could have just left those bees, the ceiling, killed those bees in the bonus stage. See, even the strongest guys in the world. Oh, that's so much slowdown. Holy crap. Oh, that's not good. I probably shouldn't be playing with all these bees like I am, but I need something to fill the time. Oh, and Durf showed up, but I don't know if she's still here. And we're at 99 creme coins. Is this not the one that... Okay. It's the next one. Toxic Tower that does that. Okay, cool. Okay, find the four Shuri's. Swim forward until the water recedes a bit back. We got all the things in that good. Okay, let's see if I can not screw up the second half of this level this time. Repeatedly. Well, so much for the DK barrel. Like, the main mistake I kept on making on this level was I kept on using the super instead of just uh, charging, instead of just using his normal. I say as I proceed to actually whip his normal thrust. I'm screwing up because of the timing of when he has his iframes and when he doesn't. Okay, see the halfway point nice and easy. We didn't have that problem before. It's the second half of this level, man. Not to mention, this is a really early midpoint. There's so much stage after this. I almost did it again. Hey, Rex is still here. Dang it! I'm just terrible at on guard. That's that's really all that it comes down to. Okay, so the There's the G. Here's the starfish. I've got a supercharge past these guys. Okay. 
Get past the four sh Shuris, which I assume are those starfish, and swim forward until the water recedes a little bit. With Super Dash, search for until you see Red Balloon. Stop your charge with uh, Get the one up. Dive down, jab away at the puffer, which I've done. Park at the lower left and center yourself for a final Super Dash to the right. I swear I checked this for... Oh no, it's not this one. Okay. It's this spot right here. I swear I checked that. Obviously I didn't, but I swear I did. Is there any enemies in here? Yep, there are. Oh, okay. So destroy them all. Oop. I swear I had super dashed back to the right, unless there's two sections there. Oh, well, we're at the end of the stage anyway, so it doesn't matter. Why didn't I just start select? Oh, well. Common sense eluded me on one bonus stage in this game. That's fine. It's okay. Everything else is still there in the old memory. Let's uh, save again. Why not? Need to spend these banana coins on something. 74%. Okay, Clapper's Cavern. I wish Game was here for this stage. He's doing his uh, exercise for the night right now. He would really appreciate the fact that we're using the uh, the seals again. I don't know what the seal's name is. I don't know if it's just like seal or if it's something cute. I know there's some breakable wall in this stage. Some were. Come back, on guard. Come back. Thank you. I think there's a breakable wall somewhere. We're gonna find out. Clapper the seal. I mean, oh no, I don't want to, how do I cancel that? That's fine, that's the one I'm looking for. And let's teach the player how to use On Guard on land. 68 Krem coins. I can almost taste the lost world. Only midway? Oh no, the water is rising and we have to move quickly enough to get above it. And then it just rises quickly when we get above it. Also enjoy the gratuitous booty shots whenever Dixie ducks down. Everything? I missed DK coin and a bonus stage. Okay, so we'll check that set. We'll, okay, that's fine. It's in the on guard section. It's gotta be. Actually... See? It's still in here. So I missed the DK coin. Okay. And now we have some basic ice platforming that I'm going to screw up currently. Oop. Nice and simple. Nice little slip and slide. 69 cram coins. Okay, so DK coin is probably in the on card section. B. I'm going to assume it's in the on guard section. It might be next to that bonus stage we got earlier. That might be why I missed it. We'll see. If not, I'll look for it. Okay, there was a spot off to the right that I didn't go last time. No, this was where I went last time. Was there not anything off to the... Really? 
hitboxes, man. Okay. Let's see if I can find this next one. As Diddy looks so happy on On Guard. Okay, it was just a puffer fish and a banana coin. Let's, um... This is the end of the On Guard section. Welcome back, game. You have not missed much. You missed one of the slowest stages in the game, and we're also... I'm gonna try to hit the second half of the stage for the DK coin. See if we can find it there. So have it ready for me, Sky, but assume that I don't need it yet. Oop. The mid bay was right there. Right there! I mean, I can also always check with Cranky and he'll give me the hint. So in this stage game, we're jumping on Clack with a seal. And he turns the water to ice. Or alternatively, he turns the water to jello for us. I'm sure the DK coin isn't in the water underneath any of the sections. Really? Hitboxes, man. Right? I don't think there's anything down there. Well, guys, we need to find the invincibility that it takes to get down there. That's that's what we need to do. That might not even be it. That doesn't seem familiar to me. I just wanted to glance at that. Okay. Still got plenty of lives to burn on trying to figure this out. Every time she ducks, gratuitous booty shot. That hot female chimp action that you came here for, while we hope that Harambe will be saved. But no, I hear you say. Did I just skip over the place that I was at before? I did. Rip. Rip. I know, some of you guys aren't willing to let a beautiful female chimp distract you until we find our boy Harambe. How on earth do you get down here? Do I have to go the other way to get back here with an invincibility? I know this isn't it, but I've never seen this before, so we are uh, going for it. that barrel? Okay, Sky, where is it? Is it before or after the midway? I probably want the midway regardless, so we'll make it quicker. Meanwhile, I will go visit Cranky and have him give us our hint, like, super early. Or not Arctic, that's what am I doing? We are in Clapper's Cavern. I ain't helping you with this one, it's up to you to start looking yourself. But I'm tish. Oop, wrong one. Okay, cool, I don't need it then. It's near the beginning. Now, why don't I remember it?
Okay, so this was a bonus stage. Yes, game, I paid a coin for him to insult me. I am perfectly fine with people insulting me if they're going to be helpful. I'm gonna be really surprised if it's actually under the water. I'm pretty sure it's not, but... I assume Durf is still helping with Enzo. Sky, I may end up needing it, because right now I'm thinking I check underneath the water, and that seems completely wrong in my memory. Go through the first bonus area. I know it's not in the bonus area. Because there's only the one that is in the entire game. Oh. That's why I got confused. That's why it says B. And one of the best levels in the game. Oh, I didn't have two Kongs here last time. Makes sense. Come here, death guy. Come try to steal my extra lives. Oop, that's one. Ha ha ha. Game... Given that this is one of the best games on the... Diddy, what on earth are you glitching out for? Given that this is one of, if not the best games on the Super Nintendo, it has some of the best levels on the Super Nintendo. Therefore, plenty of levels in this game are among the best levels in this game. I should go up one more to get that cannonball. Oop, that's fine. Everything is okay. Oh, I have to kill them all, don't I? Oop, nope. Wrong way, Dixie. Oh, I'm not killing them all? that you know a game being one of the best games makes it that much easier left to say that you know that it's harder to figure out what the best levels in that game are you know plus you've got the whole subjective thing like our whole disagreement about the fact that the uh, dungeon with the spinner in it really there's not a thing up there in Twilight Princess is the best dungeon and, and the best boss fight in all of Twilight Princess. I feel like I've already missed something. Also true, Sky. It depends on how broad a category we're putting one of the best into. You guys don't actually have anything? Oh, okay. One of you... Duh. Oh, you have just DK barrel. Really? I'm missing something here, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we go left again, even though right's more fun. Ooh, there's... Oh, it's just the Nekis. Yeah, we definitely go left. One of the biggest trolls in this game. 
Oh gosh. I think it's left first. No, it has less than 60 levels. There's 40 DK coins. I was talking to game about this earlier. Oop. Or sorry, there's there should be 39 levels plus bosses. Depending on if you count bosses as levels or not. So it, it should just be 39 levels, which is a lot smaller than this game feels. Okay, if I miss something, I know where I missed it. I just can't remember if I did or not, and we're gonna keep on going through this level. Uh, okay, no, no fake wall there. Hey! Those are my bananas. And I'm trying to climb up this rope in peace. Yeah, I'm, I, I missed the DK coin, didn't I? I know where it is, don't worry. So there could be four best levels, maybe a top five? I mean, I've only said, like, four levels so far have been my, the best level. Okay, I know where the DK coin is. Would I really say that a boss is one of the best levels in the game? That's, that's a valid point, Rex. It was the first comparison that came to mind. I, I suppose I was thinking more in terms of best moments was my issue. And that is that is true, game. Thank you for pointing out that we could have uh, the best bosses in addition to the best levels. The sad thing is the DK series doesn't have a lot of, like, really good boss fights. There's, uh, one of the best boss fights is actually in DKC3, in my opinion. It's the, uh, there's a water boss you face later into the game. And he's really hard, but he's, I don't want to be on the left side, do I? Oh, it's in the middle, okay. He's really difficult, but he's my favorite boss in that game. He's the only boss in the, actually, I remember two bosses in that game. I also remember the spider. The spider boss in DKC3 is really annoying, and uh, my friends, who I borrowed the game from, couldn't figure out how to hurt him, and so I ended up borrowing the game and beating it. Actually, I didn't borrow the game from him, what happened, I think, is that another friend of mine was borrowing it, and he left it over at my place, and so I was just like, let him know he forgot it, or wait for him to remember. And he remembered after I beat the game, so it was perfect. I just can't remember if I beat the Lost World first or not. Dang it, I did not want to go in the bonus stage. Oh gosh, there's no way to just auto-win this. This must be too far ahead. Right? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Ooh. There we go, guys. DK go coin earned. And now we have... Toxic Tower. The last level before the final boss. So joyous. Also one of the levels that makes people hate Radley. Personally, I got my boy Ratley's back. He is underappreciated. I forgot I can do that without even hitting A. No, 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 game. This is not race the lava. This is race the poison. Completely different. Or if you prefer, race the lime jello.
Oh, did I miss these? Oh. Oop. Oh no! I don't remember it going that quick. Okay, we're fine. Blame Sparkbot emote in chat, guys. Oh wait, we don't have emotes yet. Yeah, that lime jello is way too strong. I, I think that Radley is actually allergic to lime, and that's why it uh, takes him out. Oh, I don't need to use A there, I just gotta time my jump right. So what are your guys' thoughts on emotes? What what sexy... I, I assume that Nebros is just going to make them all Sparkbot-based emotes, because of course she is. So we obviously need a Sparkbot shame emote. Or, or, or we need a... Um, I think the proper inside joke is the old Sparkbot is helping when Sparkbot ends up doing something that doesn't help at all. Rather than a Sparkbot shame. We need a Dapper Shaft emote. What other ideas do we got, guys? Please tell me the midpoint was before that, and I already hit the midpoint. Please. Oh, there should be a bonus level in the- ooh, I'm already squawks. So I definitely remember a secret, and since I've already got the, the DK coin, the secret has to be a bonus level. Dang it, it's not to the right here? Nope, that's- nope, oh. Zinger's OP, man. What can I say? We need a sad spark bot emote that looks exactly like the regular spark bot. Yes! Spark bot is sad, or spark bot has a sad. I feel like I missed the bonus. I 100% missed it. Why is there a bird vomiting eggs everywhere? Why not, Rex? Why not? I feel like there's another bonus stage with squawks in the middle of the stage that I missed, though. Like, there must be an invisible wall, or I'm just really bad and missed wherever the side hall was. Like, the thing that confuses me most, I thought you just had to go fast as Squawks to get to whatever his bonus stage was. And here we have another of the uh, Bramble Blast bonus stages that's not in a Bramble Blast stage. Does it make sense? No. Is that just one up? Three up? Two up? Okay, we missed one in the middle. Yeah, like I, like I explained earlier, game. Okay, there's a bunch of those Bramble bonus stages that don't fit their stage theme. Alright then, on to Stronghold Showdown, the final boss. Alright everyone, Banana's out for Harambe, and a free bonus coin, perfect. Harambe? Banana's away guys, Banana's away, we called it too soon. Hero has his getaway ship. The Flying Croc. 
Oh no, we have another stage to play. And hopefully I don't scrub up the stage too hard. I always love how that TNT barrel is able to blow two of these guys up. I don't know what that lone banana is there for. I think it's it's not important, I know that much. You on the other hand. Oh, you're just banana coin, really? Getting caught there, good. Good, good, good. I don't need no hedgehog throwing me into the brambles. Oh, right, I know what the bonus stage and the DK coin are. Or the bonus stage is not with the DK coin. I need both Kongs. Rip. Give me that TNT barrel. I still don't know why that lone banana is sitting there. Most confusing banana in the entire game. Oh gosh. Oh hey, that worked out fine. No! No! No, it didn't work out fine. SparkBot! Oh right, I need both Kongs anyway. That's why this is so difficult. That music describes how I feel right now. The best part is this isn't even supposed to be the hardest part of the stage. Like, we're not even into the stage proper yet. It's almost as if I'm dying on purpose? No, game, I would never do that. I would never die on purpose for the content. Not unless somebody donated enough bits and told me to die. Then I might. Who knows? Yeah, we're not screwing around with you, Nekis. I remember as a kid, this jump was so much harder to make. Not sure what Rex is trying to say. Hitbox, man! Oh, I get to, uh... You made it a clip? <laughs> Thank you, Rex. Okay. I swear this hitbox on these brambles. Maybe I should just be playing as Diddy in here, except that you need Dixie for the safety. For this one, you have to, uh... Hope that... There we go. Okay guys, now we're ready to do this level properly. I'm pretty sure that is the only bonus stage. I forget how many total uh, creme coins we have. But it's time to become Squawks. And we're gonna meet Screech. Squawks' ugly cousin. But we're gonna cheat. He thinks he can outrace us. No, he can't. He's got nothing on us. Oop. 
except for his ability ooh, 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 to not uh, die. <laughs> We're making progress, guys. We're making progress. And we saw the DK coin. We know why I decided to take that death. Upside, it gets us back to where we were super quickly. To get us that advantage, oop, and take that little detour so we keep up with Screech. Now he's ahead of us, but I still believe we got this. Oop. Assuming we don't die first. Yeah, we definitely need a spark bot as helping emote. Okay, Screech. Bring it. Why would you keep flipping these but you're dying too fast? Ooh. Dang it. Okay guys, the good news, we're still ahead of Screech by a good margin. The bad news, I'm one hit away from death. I tried to clip one, I missed two more. Yeah game, I have to beat him to the end. We were really close to the end that time too. That was that was the final stretch, I'm pretty sure. Every time I talk about dying, I die. Let's test that theory. I'm going to keep on talking about dying for the rest of this run. And we're going to see whether or not I make it. But I believe that despite the number of times I have died, that we will make it through this time. Just to prove Rex wrong. And then he'll have to clip me talking about dying and not dying as I continue to pointlessly talk about how I'm not going to die, despite the fact that Rex wants me to die by talking about dying. So we are going to make sure that we do not die, just to prove Rex wrong. Because the most important thing in the world is proving Rex wrong, even though Rex is almost always right. But this time, Rex will be wrong. The mental link is not as strong as it used to be. So I believe... Oop, we got hit once. The second I stopped talking about dying was when I died that time. <laughs> no, I was just realizing that like both Game and Sky and anybody else in chat aren't familiar with the old Mental Link, where the two of us used to share a brain. Like, there's currently a joke going in the uh, DQA Discord that everyone is just a different embodiment of Sky, but it's been a very long time since everyone knew that the two of us shared a brain. Oh, you were too distracted by my dying to pay attention. Wait a second. What is the right way to go there? Oh, that... That skip still got me killed. Oh. The main thing I gotta remember is that Squawks will flap up higher than I think he will. I mean, on the upside, this is giving me so much more respect for the speedrunners. And we take first place! See, that's why it was so embarrassing that I died there the one time, because I was right at the end. Alright, let's save our game before the final boss. 
those naughty crocodiles. All they want to learn is how to fight and squash monkeys. Understandable. Well, strangely, it says we only have 82% of the game done. That's odd. How dare you hit Hron- Too soon, bro, too soon. I know that this happened before Harambe was brutally murdered, but that, that was graphic. And we have some of the best boss music of any game. Okay, guys, we got this. We still got this. Now, those cannibals he shoots back out will, in fact, hurt you. And here we go. We are good to go. Now, Kirul is special among all of the Kremlings because he can shoot cannonballs that have spikes. None of the other companies can do that. We've seen cannonballs. We have never seen spike cannonballs. Nor have we seen cannonballs that bounce. Nor have we seen K. Rool use his own powers of defying gravity by shooting these spinning cannibals. And these are the most impressive ones of all. You know, you got two there circling with each other. It's, it's a thing of beauty, I tell you. Crap. Oh, oh, oh. That's true. If, if K. Rool realized the power that bees have over Harambe, he wouldn't be shooting these spike cannonballs at us. He'd be shooting bees at us. And so, dear future YouTubers who are watching this, if you thought this Harambe Kong Country gag is worth making into a stupid mod, that's the plan. Rombe, you shouldn't be surprised this guy is still standing. You remember how long it took you to beat him up? Okay, Rua, why are you running out of gas? Oh, he's not running out of gas. Oh gosh, he's invisible! Oh, he stole the stingers off of bees and taped them onto cannonballs? That makes sense, too. That would explain how the cannonballs got spiked. Ooh. The funny thing is, I remember how difficult K. Rule was for me as a kid. Okay, now those, if we get touched by them, they'll invert our controls. So we are not getting touched by them. Oh gosh. Alright everyone who wanted those that gratuitous Dixie booty, here it is. It's there while she runs. Oh crap, I need to... Oh, dang it. No! In my hubris, I wanted to finish the game as Diddy. Oh, crap. Guys, we're about to experience this boss fight all over again. Oh, crap. I hit the wrong way. That one's on me. That one's 100% that one's on me. Hubris got to me. Oh, shoot, I didn't read. I mean, game, you can play this game for yourself and see how easy or how difficult it is. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer, Sky.
But at least the song is a banger. Don't worry, Harambe. I'll get him for you. I got this. Didi Harambe is on the case. I would say often insidious, but rarely slow. That is true. King Steve does keep reminding us that overconfidence is the wrong play. Really? Alright, K. Rule, you may have your circling cannonballs, but I have Dixie's hair. And it uses the same black magic that your cannonballs do. And I haven't even needed to use it yet. Except for right there for swag. It's okay, Harambe. We're going to save you soon. We'll be able to take out K. Rule, and you'll have nothing to worry about ever again from him. No worries, buddy. We got, we got you. I should have used the uh, hair. We might end up doing this a third time, guys. We, we just might. Oh crap, I'm slow now. Oh gosh. Oh. I don't think I've ever gotten hit by the red one before. Or at least I don't remember doing it. We still got the purple one coming though. Oh, is there just a spot I can stand and I'm fine? Run, Diddy, run! You've got this. You can finish AF off K. Rule. He's got nothing on you. I believe. I believe in you, little buddy. I know he's trying to suck your head off you, but we're okay. The worst thing in this fight would be getting hit by the ass cannonball, I tell you what. That's right, we took out K. Rule. We did it all without Harambe's help. Uh oh. That's right, Harambe. Show you can that mofo. And we have one of the most graphic endings in SNES history. K. Rule being eaten by sharks. I knew you'd do it, Diddy, my boy, but how could you fail having learned all you know from old Cranky here? Oh, are you about to lecture me? I found every DK coin and every bonus stage. You rescued that lazy grandson of mine and dumped K. Rule in his own filthy swamp. Not bad for a novice. Novice? Just because I took a few deaths here, we're, we're still at, you know, 3 344 on this uh, run. Yeah, I made sure K. Rool would never try a cheap trick like that again. Harambe knocked him into the ocean to get eaten by sharks. And yeah, I found all the creme coins. What lost world? I have no idea what you're talking about, Frankie. There is no lost world. Yeah, I found all of your special video game hero coins. All of them. There is not a one that I missed. Yeah, let's, let's see how well I did, you punk. As Dixie takes a sip from her smoothie. That's right! What? Less than Mario? Yeah, you've got a second screen, Cranky. How, how did I not get beat Mario? Come on! Diddy is better than Mario, clearly, and, and Yoshi should be in the trash. And I think Link is third if you don't actually make it on the uh, podium. That's right, I'm not bad at all. Top left and right buttons while you are on the map screen to view here. And of course, behind the text we can see Sonic shoes. And I don't know whose blaster gun that is. Because back in the day... Sega can't, what Nintendo don't. Game, you miss me complaining to Cranky about the fact that, uh... He supposedly had more bonus... He supposedly had more DK coins, didn't he? So now we will sit through the credits, we will reflect on the fact that we have saved Harambe, 
that no longer are we here without Harambe, but we are here with Harambe. He is no longer in our dreams. And although we think about him all the time, he is with us all the time. Harambe, I miss you. Okay, guys. The gun is from Earthworm Jim. Hey, ZZ boy. I don't know how the ward is doing right now, actually. Um, I haven't been, like, in super close touch with everybody, and things have been cancelled with coronavirus going around, so... I'm glad you made it here in time for the credits. We still have the Lost World levels to go through, though, if you want to stick around. And look at all these punny names. Puffed up. Lockjaw. It's funny because his, his jaw does, does the thing. And Snapjaw, his big brother. There is more game. We have the five hardest dip levels in the game left to go. And of course, Clomp is also differently abled using that peg leg. But that is the great thing about pirates. They have no concept of ableism. You lose a leg, you get a peg leg. You lose a hand, you get a hook. You lose an eye, you put an eye patch over it. Or you get a glass eye. You, know, you, you lose your head, you become the headless horseman. That's how pirates are. Now they say this guy is crook, and his jacket is clearly filled with things that he has stolen, but we never see him steal anything. Cutlass, of course, is a female character. We needed to have some female baddies. You almost caught a shark, ZZ boy? You've been out fishing? How'd that happen? And I think Cruncher works out a little bit. And Clank, we ran off the rails as many times as possible. Although he got us a few times. Cackle, who laughed when he killed us. Clubba. That's odd. I don't remember seeing Clubba. I seem to remember seeing, uh... Someone besides Clubba. Definitely saw Crow. I took him out, no problem. Cleaver, one of the scariest swords of all time. Cudgel, I remember. So who's this Clubba guy? You were using live bait as big as your hand? Nice. And of course, Captain K. Rule. And our animal buddies. Rambi. The loyal rhinoceros. On guard. Who will be here in the sequel. Ratley, who annoys everyone and I think is also here in the sequel, but I forget offhand. I haven't played Donkey Kong Country 3 in a long time. Squitter does not make it to Donkey Kong Country 3, sadly. Squitter is awesome. Clapper. This is the last we'll see of him. I forget who makes an appearance in Donkey Kong Country Returns, though. Squawks, of course, is coming back, I think. I don't remember, man. I haven't played Donkey Kong Country 3 in so long. Glimmer will not come back. And the Kong Clan. Swanky, who is ready to sell you a used car. And that bad boy can fit so many bananas on it, you just slap that on the hood. Funky, who is able to surf in midair. Wrinkly, who is now a school teacher to try to pass on her knowledge to the next generation. Cranky, who now carries a second cane to keep himself up and who has grown a full and sexy beard. And Harambe, who for some reason is still in his captured animation. Dixie, with that glorious booty and that sexy hair. And Diddy. Struggling to run after a night with Dixie. Oh, we still have more credits, man. We able to skip credits? No, no, we're not. Nothing? Nope. Okay. Well, guys, the important thing is that we saved Harambe. I am not... We, no, 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 no. We, we don't use this newfangled technology to do special things, Sky. I don't care that we're able to speed up the game. We are not going to speed up the game through artificial means. We play as close to a legit playthrough as we can. And that means sitting here. Taking a moment of silence. To consider the sacrifice that Harambe made for us a few years ago.
Harambe, you are in our hearts and in our minds, and we will never forget you. No game, I do not get to play as Harambe in the extra levels. And CZ Boy, I, I hope you catch a shark. I'm looking forward to seeing a picture of you with a shark. That's going to be sick. See, game, if you want to learn how to fish in Twilight Princess, ZZ Boy is your man. He knows how to fish in real life. And how different can fishing in a video game be compared to real life? Shigeru Miyamoto, the original creator of Donkey Kong. And game design and the producer was by Gmails. Not to be confused with Gmail. Produced by Rare, presented by Nintendo. The end. And there's no question mark this time, guys. Now can I? Yes, I can. Alrighty. Back into the game. You were fighting it for over 25 minutes before it broke your line. Dang, man. We are at 87%. As we can see, all the exclamation marks and the DK coins over each place. All of them. And now we go back to those areas we skipped over. Now you're this land, lovers. Me name is Clubba, and to cross me bridge is gonna cost your mini pieces of weight. And if yours don't pay up, or run you through like the scurvy dogs you are. Aha, it costs 15 creme coins to cross over Métis. That's fine. We'll pay him 15. Still got 60 more to go. That's right, that's right, Rex. The the video game that ZZ Boy was playing is a video game called Outside. It's um an extremely big room in an M in the most played MMO of all time. Like this one time Zen got lost out in that room for days on end. I'm lucky that tire didn't come back and get me. Now, as we remember from the original Harambe Kong Country, tires are Harambe's favorite toy. Ooh, finally got hit. Zen could have gotten lost out there for years. I don't, I don't recall the in for correctly anymore. All I know is I'm going to bother him after this stream and let him know that once again I was talking crap about him on stream. Now, the DK coins in the bonus in, in the Lost World stages are all contained in the bonus stages. And as you can see, this is a rather difficult bonus stage, because we have to throw our partner into harm's way. And if our partner hits that zinger, you're done. So now we're at 35 DK coins, we're almost there. Almost to 40 to show up that punk Mario. Oh, sorry, I was, uh, only one, uh, bonus stage has a DK coin, like, hidden in this stage, but in the Lost World stages, the DK coins are the reward for the bonus stages. My mistake. Oh, gosh. Oh, cool, we clipped into it to bounce. That's good. Uh... At least we have the midway. Okay, we have both Kongs. Good, we have both Kongs. Is this where I died? I feel like it's not where I died. Oh gosh. This is not where I died, okay. I was past this. I was near the end of the stage. One last roll at the end of the stage to try to get you. Complete with the way to get to the G. Aw, oh, 
I missed the G. Now, unfortunately, access to the lost world is found in each world. So we're going to come hire a plane from Funky. And we don't have all of our banana coins anymore, so we're going to actually need to remember to pick some up. And just for the sake of it, we're going to fight Clubba. We can take him. We got this. Just because his his brother is almost as strong as Rambe, and he's even stronger than his brother, doesn't mean we can't take... So we're going to pay him to go through. Ooh, I haven't played this stage in a long time. We just need to make sure not to miss the bonus stage. Ah, oh, good DK, DK barrel. Well, guys. Oh gosh, I have to. No. No, I want those one ups. You punk. Now that I don't have as many as I used to, because they threw me through the credits. Not good, we hit him. Okay. You're not getting me, Crook. Okay. We're fine. Everything is fine. We got this. This guy is still following us around. I don't know how that just got me the second time. I forget which one of these has the... Oh, none of them have the O through it. Midway! Nope, you're not what I'm looking for. That wasn't even necessary. It really wasn't. Oh, crap! Perfect. We're still good, guys. We're still good. We just gotta do some nice ice jumping. Get past these guys. Go down this side. Kill these bees. And into the cannon for the bonus stage. Now let's not screw up the bonus stage. Just making these nice little ice jumps around bees. And DK coin, that's 36, just four more to go. Now let's uh, make sure we finish the stage without dying. <laughs> yeah, these jumps are slightly scary. Alrighty, we did it. That's two Lost World stages down, but we only have one banana coin. So we're gonna need to find another banana coin. Uh... We're gonna assume that this stage has a uh, banana coin somewhere accessible. Here, banana coin. Just need a simple banana coin. That's all we're looking for. Perfect. Uh... 
Uh, yeah, we're not gonna find your club. We'll, we'll, we'll pay. We'll pay the fee. We we want to show our support for what you what you what the important work you do here. I don't remember this stage very well either. We need a banana coin. Perfect. I think Diddy skips right over this. And another banana coin. Perfect. That's what I like to see. I like these lost levels giving me access to the next one. I was about to jump down towards those bananas. Oh, easy buddy. Slow your roll, dude. Slow your roll. Or I'll roll you for you. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I am so lucky that's a Diddy Barrel. So lucky. Does Dixie just skip? Oh, I can't. Yes, you can throw your partner into harm and get them killed. It's, it's how you're supposed to play this game, clearly. Midway, DK Barrel. I haven't seen the bonus stage in this level yet, have I? So I assume the G barrel stands for go. I think the bonus stage is at the end of this level. I really hope it is. Let's take a moment to enjoy all this beautiful fauna in the background. It's a counterclockwise rotating arrow. Not a G. Why is it a counter... Ooh. It's not as if the barrel can only shoot one way. Maybe it just means recyclable. Use over and over again. Okay, bonus stage should be at the end of the stage. Ah, oh, we missed the one up. I think you require Dixie at the end of the stage? I remember, guys. And here is one of the best destroy the malls in the game. Thirty-seven DK coins. It's a rotating arrow to indicate that the barrel rotates. Here's the problem I have with that, though. Like, it can rotate both ways. It's pointing this way, and it can rotate this way as well. You know? Alrighty, and we got those banana coins for Funky. Okay, if I remember right, this is the most difficult level in the game. Maybe it's not. I just remember being really difficult as a kid. We'll see. Oop. See, this, this barrel has the controller on it before the timer to let you know that it can be controlled. Like, that one makes sense. I think I remember where the bonus stage in this level is. Pretty sure it's not up from where we just were. Mm. 
we don't need no sinking. Oop. That may not have been the way to do that, guys. Fortunately, DK barrel. And we gotta go for the O2. The Krem coins are the ones that we got for completing each bonus stage game. So you have to find all of the bonus stages in order to get access all of the Lost World. Alright, this is another one where the bonus stage is near the end. And we got more Krem coins, or not Krem coins, uh, banana coins. To give to Funky when we're done. It's fine, we got a DK barrel here. We're, uh, we're not gonna take the uh, risk of shooting from that end. We can always get it from this side. Okay, you guys all saw that hitbox. You guys all saw that. Sparkbot! Rex, you did not see me jump into a hitbox. Take an intentional risk? Yes. Jump into a hitbox? No, 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 no. I would recommend not jumping into hitboxes. Yes, game, the bees can hit us while we're in barrels. I just haven't had it happen prior to now in the entire run, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're gonna hope there's a DK barrel before I need Dixie. Like, we are we are very much hoping that there's a DK barrel before I need Dixie. Like I said, hardest level in the game. Hardest level in the game, guys, right here. Come on, Sparkbot, stop trying to help. See, these bananas at least are being helpful. They're giving me an extra life. All right, murder bees. You're not getting me this time. Okay, I intentionally skipped the N. I mean, on the upside, this is good practice for battle codes. What the crap? Oh gosh, there's no way I can trust this guy to throw me up into it. <sighs> well, rip. I need that barrel. I think I need that barrel. You have graduated from jumping into hitboxes to running into hitboxes with the barrels. Yes, I have, Rex. I am proud of my level up. Okay, guys, we we might got it this time. We might got it. We showed that. Uh, I think that's a cutter, not a cutlass. I forget the name. We showed him who's boss. We're uh, not gonna let these bees beat us. We're gonna grab that end. And we're gonna navigate this properly without touching a bee. Now the thing about the Lost World is that these are levels that were so difficult, even Harambe himself is said to have struggled with them. 
Now he still one-shot them, mind you. But he thought that they were decently difficult. He knew that there would be lesser gamers, such as yours truly, who could not handle them. And he was right. I gotta... okay, good. Alright guys, we just gotta not screw up the bonus stage. Is this another Dixie flying one? Oh, nope, it's navigating the... ooh. That actually scared me really bad. Okay, I've got plenty of time, I just need to not rush myself, which is exactly... Oh, it's gonna force me to end the stage too, no! No Diddy, no victory music. Bad Diddy. Oh. I have to go through that entire crap shoot again. I mean, that's just expected at this point. Completely expected at this point. Okay, guys, the goal is to one-shot. Will it happen? Probably not. But it's the goal. It's the plan. It's the thing we're trying to do. We're not gonna yellow that banana coin this time. Seriously, man, these, these bees, their hitboxes, are, are truly boxes. They're, they're not, you know, shaped to their bodies at all. Okay, we're at the midway. Because there's obviously everything before the midway that was giving us trouble, so we're fine now. Another banana coin, even though it's more than we need at this point. Kill you, no problem. Hop over you guys, no problem, even though I'm always terrified by that jump. Or not jump, I guess, but you know what I mean. Okay, there's, there's still a DK barrel somewhere. I just forget where it is. Oh, is there not a DK barrel? There better be a DK, there's not a DK barrel. I'm pretty sure there's not a DK barrel. Okay. You're supposed to catch me and spin me around and throw me in the wrong direction, man. Come on. Okay, there's one DK barrel after that one. And we are out of water. I mean, Rex, if you're really feeling ambitious, you could, uh, take all the clips and combine them in together for a, uh, death highlight for my YouTube channel. That's the last... <sighs> FML. FML. And Sky's right. Spin you right around. Round, ride around, ride around, when I go, when I go. I can't read the lyrics properly of that song. No, I was saying that Rex could, not you, Sky. I mean, you can, but I don't expect you to. Rex is the one who's busy clipping all of my deaths. For the enjoyment of future fans who want to realize that I, too, suck at games. I'm surprised the swords didn't catch me there. You've only clipped one, Rex? I thought you were clipping, uh, more than one. 
Oh gosh. Okay. We got this. Just don't get hit by the bees. Okay, now we just gotta complete the bonus stage, guys. You thought about it, but in the space of thinking about it, I died two more times, and you decided it was too much work. Okay. Just one hand. One hand. Wait for the speed to pass by. Wait for the speed to pass by, that's fine. We're taking our time. Taking our time. Rushing a little bit. Taking our time. Rushing. Rushing. Got two more bees to get past. Could have made it there. Just got one more bee to get past. Put my hand back on the... Oh gosh, there's another one. Oh gosh, there's more! Okay, one more stage, one more stage, one more boss fight, and then we're done, guys. The next stage I really like, the next stage is really cool. Game, there is no such thing as luck when I'm playing. Clubba, here's the last of my 15 creme coins. It's the last I got, so this better be the last stage. Oh yeah, this is animals. Bonus stage is also near the end, as I recall. Okay, so the last stage, I said it was one of the hardest stages in the game. I'm pretty sure it's because of what we just saw with me needing to get to the end with both Kongs. This one's a lot easier, he says, before dying. This stage is a lot easier, in my opinion. It's also fun because we go through all of our animal buddies. I mean, the main issue with the last stage is I was trying to rush everything. <laughs> you feel like you have to do a fail compilation now, Rex? Please. <sighs> I don't know if I agree with that this level is objectively the best level, Sky. It's, it's definitely a great level. It's, it's probably the, it, it may be the most, uh, no, I, I, it's not the most memorable level in the game, just because not everybody has played it. I think Squawks has the bonus stage. But it's definitely, that's the most pro, pro play I've done all night. But like I definitely like the I personally like the roller coaster levels better. Whoa, Rex, how dare you say low bar to set? This game we, we were having a discussion earlier before you got here, Rex, about how this is the best platformer of all time. There is no better platformer than Donkey Kong Country 2. Look, game, I, I know that you disagree and you think Mario Brothers 3. I what better play did I make tonight, Rex? Yes, yeah, guy, we might have to fight. I just missed it. We gotta get we gotta die, guys. I was still able to hang out down there. Are, are you trying to say you'd be doing better than I am right now, Sky? I don't need to even worry about that. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm telling you, man, if, if both of us... You're a world record contender for this? You're gonna speedrun it? Sky will fight anyone who disagrees that Donkey Kong Country 2 is the objectively the best platformer of all time. Honestly, though, having both of us go through the Donkey Kong Country games, you know, within, within some amount of time of each other, would let us pick up a lot of the retro crowd between the two of us. So, dear Lurker, if you are enjoying this content, please give me a follow. We are trying to hit affiliate. And we are just 15 follows away from affiliate, I believe. I can't actually see the uh, counter on my current screen. You don't think objectively best platformer makes any sense? How does that not make sense, Rex? Like, I'm at a loss to think of a better platformer. I'm, I'm willing to entertain contenders, you know, Super Mario Bros. 3 is one of the best platformers. It's objectively the best game on the NES. And, and, you know, if Super Mario Bros. 3 had been on the Super Nintendo, it probably would be better than Donkey Kong Country 2. Oh, right, I'm on the Squawks Gets Blown Around part, I forgot about this. Which actually makes this a lot of fun. It also means I'm likely to die. Uh, we're not going for the end. Uh, we have the DK coins, so I don't need to worry about anything. Okay. I don't have to worry about anything, he says. Dying promptly thereafter. We're just gonna take this nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nice and easy. We don't want that banana coin, we don't need it. Oh gosh, the bees are spinning. Do you guys see that? And on to the rattly section. SMB3 may be the better speedrun. Oh, right, we don't want to go that way. And I'm... <laughs> I did not want to die right there. I, I'm trying to... Th what... I'm trying to think of a good platformer right now besides the uh, Mario Galaxy games. Like, I know there's better 3D platformers, but I can't think of anything right now offhand. Okay, guys. That was an automatic barrel. That was an automatic barrel. See, obviously we need my stream to go on long enough to continue finishing this conversation. That's clearly why I died there. I, I'm going to disagree with Super Mario 64 being the best 3D platformer. Like, I love me some SMB 64, but... It's not... Like, it, it's kind of like... Oh, that Kaboing jumped high enough to hit me! SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom is, in fact, one of the greatest platformers of all time, game. You are correct. I haven't played Mario Sunshine. It's actually one of the few games on GameCube I don't own that uh, might be worth owning. That along with uh, Melee. But Melee is also way too expensive to pick up a copy of now. Have to go through the squawk section again. Ooh. Yeah, we 
we did not be trying to learn how to do that. Nice and slow, Squawks. Nice and slow. Too slow, Squawks. Too slow. Okay, guys, it's 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 four and a half hours in, plus that extra like half hour we wasted at the start of the stream, and I'm going slightly frustrated. This is definitely taking me longer than it took during my uh, let's play years ago, which actually has me kind of surprised. Man, I was a much better gamer back then. You need me to scrub like ten percent less. Just be glad you missed the whole section where I was exploring Arctic caverns in the wrong portion and re or not the wrong portion and, and repeatedly getting killed while failing to find the bonus stage okay <laughs> that's a good burn rex no, Sky, in fact, does not want me to finish tonight. So even if we remove 10% of my scrubbing, I still won't get it done tonight. I mean, the cool thing about this being the final level, though, is they at least finish it off with one of the best segments of all. You know, having to go through this Winnie section as Squawks. See, game, if, if you were the one streaming this game right now, we wouldn't expect you to hit 100%. You know, some of some of those uh, bonus stages and DK coins are rather difficult to get. No, you don't. That's right. Okay, we're going back up for the DK barrel. I was really worried I was about to lose a Kong while getting the barrel. Or right there. Oh, jeez. I'm trying to get better, Uncle Sky. I'm trying. Guys, I think we know what the uh, DKC3 stream title is going to be. Watch a scrub fail to live up to Harambe's legacy. Which, I mean, in fairness, last night's stream could have been titled that as well. I'm down to five lives because when I beat the game, it reset my life counter and my, my uh, banana coin counter. So the fact that I'm not getting a game over right now is really good because I don't think I've saved in a long time. I need to save after I beat this level. No, 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 game. There is no if I beat this level. I am beating this level, all right. I'm going to do it on this try. Probably on this try.
You're gonna go to sleep before I beat the game, Rex? At least stick around like another... Nah, maybe, maybe bed is the correct choice. <laughs> Note to self! I am able to rage after... Oh gosh, the stream has been going way too long. I've been streaming for five hours. Yeah, I've been streaming almost five hours now. That's why I'm so stressed out. Okay, cool. Alright, Harambe. Grant me your strength. And your skill. Rex, you're not prepared to stay awake for 24 hours straight. The worst thing of all is I'm going to go back and rewatch my old YouTube Let's Play of this game, and I'm just going to watch myself destroy it so much better than I did tonight, and I'm going to be so disappointed in myself. No, 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 Sky, we're finishing this. We are, we are most certainly finishing this. Just, there's, there's one essential thing. Make sure that I do not get a game over without saving. That is the essential thing right now. If, if I get a game over and I have to replay a couple of these levels, I'm going to lose my mind. Like, that's, that's going to be a stream for the night. If that was to happen. Gosh, man, I'm getting all the respect for the speedrunners who go through this and make it look like it's nothing. So that's one of the things I really like about being a casual streamer is the fact that uh, it's a reminder of like this is how well your buddy would be doing if he was sitting on the couch with you. Okay, so far so good. So far not so good. Okay, I made it to the Radley section before, and I screwed up on the barrel, and that was like my first try. No, yeah, 102% speedruns are nutty. Okay, hardest jump in the game right there. And I gotta juggle this, bounce this guy a little bit. And this guy. Okay. I don't care about the G. No DK thing. And a banana coin to help us save our game. Oh wait, we have enough banana coins. Okay, we're gonna save our game before K Rule. I'm not worried about K Rule, but we're definitely saving the game first. Definitely saving the game. Now watch me just like one shot the K rule fight. See, we currently have 97% of the game done. Which has me a bit confused right now how this is only 97% of the game. There there is a new boss. We watched K rule get eaten by the sharks. Step this way, friends. I polished the bridge just for ye. That's you better have polished that bridge for me. Crocodile core. One of the most epic settings. You got eaten by sharks, dude! Fair. No, I'm not letting you invert my controls. Booty shot. Come on, K. Rule, is that all you got? Yeah, that's fine. You sit, you sit, go ahead and invert those controls on me. You try. Fine, we'll, we'll take the cheap way and just Dixie over it. Ooh, you're mixing it up. I like it. Okay. What do you got? That it?
I lost it. There's oh crap. Okay, that's fine. We we screwed up first try. That's fine. No big deal. I mean, as you can see, game, this fight is difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Nope, we're not letting you invert my controls. Hey, Rex, we are about to finish this game. How dare you say rip you seeing the rest of this game. Oh, I'm going to take K-Rule out on this life. Rest assured. Maybe next life. We'll see. Purples. Okay, we're taking out K-Rule on this life. We're switching back to our girl, Dixie. Look, Rex, this is a little bit difficult. Okay? A little bit. I don't know, game. How are we supposed to hurt him? I mean, last time we, we took one of his cannonballs and we shot it back into his, uh, into his gun. But this time he hasn't shot a regular cannonball at, or he hasn't given us a regular cannonball to use. Rex, I'm about to beat the game. Where I switched to D? I think it is. Alright, Rex, you better still be here. 40 DK coins. 4 0. I, I don't think that's the safest place for you to fall into, K Rule. She's gonna blow. Then the nice could go in, kid. I reckon only a true video game hero could have finished and finished it all. Welcome back, Durf. You're here for the credits. Yep, game. It was a survival battle. Let's get out of this miserable to dump and get back to Donkey Kong Island. You mean Harambe Kong Island. That's right, Mario. You suck it. Do I need to hit the button? I'm not afraid to admit it, Diddy, my boy. Even I'm wrong occasionally. You're as big a hero as they come. You must take after me and Harambe. Well done. One day, Diddy, you too can be as good as Harambe. And now we get to watch this glorious SNES cutscene. Who's that? What? I guess we're gonna have to play Donkey Kong Country 3 and get our revenge on that mofo. That's right, game. K rule is defeated. Until next time. That should be 102%, right? Yeah, 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 okay, 102%. Alrighty. Well, guys, that was Donkey Kong Country 2. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are on YouTube, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to join me on Twitch. And enjoy watching me live and interact with me in chat. And all of that good stuff. Good night.